can't even sit in peace Cause all of these niggas be on you I'm just saying I can be Yeah, one that you call and you talk to, girl I'll share my world with you If you wanna waste your time Yeah, you waste your time with me I mean honestly Open your eyes and see you need to waste your time with me. You could have all the space all that you need. It's no pressure, girl. If you got time to waste, waste it with me. And I ain't worried about them Girl, you are that I see And I am who I am And I be where I be If you ever hit me on a late night yeah, I'll give you a clear mind Might give you some insight I'll share my world with you If you gonna waste your time Don't waste your time with me I mean honestly if you gonna waste your time, time with me, don't waste your time with me. You can have all the space, all that you need. It's no pressure, girl. If you got time to waste, waste it with me. Close your eyes to get away Just bang my line and I'll arrange it Beautiful, girl, you're stainless You'll be fine, I'll be painless, yeah All I'm drinking is champagne All you want is the same thing Yeah The 10,000 building, get your ass an apartment Put you inside a G-Class, that's just a start It can plenty things count in life, but none of them is a thought of it New piece around my neck is chess games Cause shorty stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon Swear I'm more purple rain prince than Prince Charming Disappointment, I stay expecting it The pessimists, gold medalists, flush the magnums Just so they not collecting my specimens, damn the way she would poppy, man, you would think she's a veteran on remembrance. Cleaning lady sweeping room daily for all the evidence of everything I ever did. Do they have a pool there? Do they have a gym there? You used to do skincare, but now you do swimwear. Your ex roommate got a condo that's downtown, but she got no furniture in her crib. I've been there. Checkmate, even though you hate that I even check, I still get an E for effort. Only time I play the back and forth is a Leah record. If I let you talk first and nobody is speaking second, fluent and passive aggression, that's why you acting dismissive. Hearing me out for once will require you actually listen. Damn. Damn. The boy is back, I never turn my back I just slapped them, so now all that they see is my back Say that damn Maybach bands with me in the back When I wasn't accurate, I still couldn't clean up my act Whenever I tell the truth, you feel like you being attacked But that come with being attached, so how about we leave it at that? If you gonna waste your time Don't waste your time with me Cause all of these niggas Season podcast. We are back again. This is episode 55. Double nickel. <laughs> Cinquenta y cinco. Cinquenta y cinco. Kenny T is in the building. What's happening? OT is in the building. I ain't starting no trouble today. I'm here. 
Jesus in the motherfucking building. They say I'm starting off with some some shit. Well, let's go, nigga. <laughs> I am D Trail AC. This is another episode of the Crew Season podcast. Um, how you boys doing on this glorious yeah. afternoon? Feeling goddamn I'm good. Ready, man. I got this cup in my hand. Ready to talk you know about this shit, man. Ready to sip. The dean is here. And dip. The overseer. And talk about these queens. Man of the year. The that are queens. Walks between the sheets. Oh, the, oh, they are queens this week. The queens that are queens. Oh, okay, gotcha. Not the hoes. The yeah. host of the hoes. Gotcha. But the queens, you know, I love y'all. The penetrator. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> uh, Docket is interesting today. Very, very interesting. Um, it's been a very controversial week, I would say. My nigga, my nigga free. Oh, my uh, God. We're just going to dive right into this Bill Cosby situation. Um, before, let me just announce it. Bill Cosby's conviction was overturned. Mind you, recently, maybe I think uh, two, three years ago, he got convicted of. I'm not with it. You know, I can't remember what he got convicted. Sexual assault, if mm-hmm. I'm not mistaken. Sexual assault. And uh, he went to prison for it or whatever the case may be. But yes, recently, man. his case was overturned. I'm going to read some of the key facts, and I want to get you guys' response to it. Uh, one of them said that the court said that a promise uh, that a promise a previous prosecutor had made not to prosecute Cosby in order to compel him to testify in a civil lawsuit meant that he couldn't legally be charged in the sexual assault case. In 2018, Cosby was convicted of drug and sexually assaulting Andrea Constand at his Pennsylvania estate in 2004, leading to a sentence in two th- uh, September of 18 of three to 10 years in prison. But in 2005, the Montgomery County District Attorney, Bruce Castor, determined the case against Cosby was unwinnable, leading to an agreement that Cosby would not be charged, but he would be uh, deposed for a civil suit brought by Constant. The deposition was used years later to charge Cosby just days before the statute of limitations uh, for the sexual assault was set to expire, leading to a 2017 mistrial after jurors deadlock. Cosby was tried again in 2018 and was convicted after prosecutors called several women who made similar claims of drugging and sexual assault to testify, which didn't happen in the 2017 trial. The Supreme Court also ruled that allowing the accuser's testimony was inappropriate, finding it served as more as a, of a character attack than affirming a pattern of criminal behavior. So they used the president, right? Back in the day, they tried to convict Bill Cosby of it, they felt like the case was unwinnable, so they filed a civil suit. And in that civil suit, they said, if you admit to these things, you cannot be prosecuted for what you say in this deposition in further trials. That's what the agreement was. And that is what set him free and overturned his case. How y'all feel about that? So you mean to tell me this happened when? What year? What year? 2018. 2018. And he got convicted when? Wait, wait, you talking about the assault? The original was 2005. 2005. Oh, four. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about the case. I'm talking about the case. When all that shit happened, when they were supposed to agree to some shit. The deposition, that was 17. Yeah, that was 17. Mm-hmm. And then he got convicted when? 2018, because more women came forward. <sighs> this is what happened. It, it, initially, it was one woman, that constant woman. That was 2017. They felt like the case was unwinnable. Mm-hmm. But after that went public, so the case was a alive. lot of women started coming forward. I think so, like 40 women. So the case forward. was alive from the jump. Uh, oh, okay. I'm not going to say it was a lie. Okay. I said that they felt that it was unwinnable. They said it was unwinnable, so that's a lie. Why was it unwinnable? If you can't win, that, mean, that means something faulty on your end, right? If I can't win something, that means something faulty on my end, right? But, that's all I'm saying. But if they said, that they, can't, they said that they can't win a case with that one, and then 40 more came forward, and that's what got that him convicted in 2018. That was, that was all a play. But he also no had, evidence, no nothing. But he also admitted so he admitted to drugging a woman. He did admitting to drugging a woman, smooth. Okay, okay, that's no different from getting a woman drunk and, and fucking no, that down. No, that's not. That's totally different, smooth. <laughs> that's we're no not different doing from that. that. That's the God. facts. No, it's not. No, it's not. Alcohol it's, is a drug, right? We're no, keeping it a stack. To, totally we don't lie up here. Alcohol totally is a drug. It's not. Alco- is alcohol a drug or not? It's not. It is. The, the difference is consent. Okay. With alcohol, we are both drinking. Oh, we know. So she not consenting to drink with you because I seen a lot of women say, "No, I don't want no liquor." Right, and then and they get liquor shoved down their throat. Ain't nobody forcing no liquor down a woman's throat. No, that's not happening. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. That ain't what I'm saying. So what are you saying? I'm saying a lot of women go get drinks with niggas. Okay, when they get drunk, they have sex with niggas. Right, the woman went over there. I don't know how they did the drugs. They didn't say. I I ain't even go. You know what I'm saying? But some shit was on the table. Some shit happened. Okay. She was with it for a long time. I'll give you one of the stories. I'll give you one of the stories. Mm-hmm. The girl said that he went 
Yeah, he came to pick up. Mm -hmm. They was riding in the back of the limo. They mm -hmm. went to a, a lake or a big body of water. Is this somebody that that got him? That that that's uh, yeah, that had th evidence. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, th no, this is I'm this is this is one evidence. of the ones that he that he admitted to. Okay, let me hear. He said that they went to go. Uh, she said that they went to go kick it by the lake, and they mm -hmm. was having drinks. Mm -hmm. She said at first she felt totally fine, and then mm -hmm. somewhere throughout them having drinks, she started to feel a little woozy, started to feel a little out of it, and then after she woke up. She noticed that her clothes was disheveled, and she noticed that you know him. You know they were they were laying next to each other. He was putting his clothes back on, in the in the situation. Oh, she got drunk. No, no, he put a pill in her drink. She got he put drunk. a quaalude he in her drink. Said that he put something in her drink. He put a quaalude in her drink. My nigga, okay, it's that's like Ross. Put right, Molly let's, on a champagne. Let, let, right, you know. okay, right. Let me hit it. Let me hit it. Come let on me, now. Let me, let, me, let me ask y'all. Come this. on, smooth. When my nigga got out of jail, is he convicted of any charges? Smooth. No. Exactly, my nigga, Ooh. free man. Free but man. it's on a technicality. I'm not saying he's not guilty. My nigga, man. If that was your daughter or your my little nigga, cousin, your little niece, that, your bro. little sister, I ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> what bro. would you say? I ain't trying to. What demand, would you demand, say? The man. What is would off you say? No charges, bro. So if somebody did but that, we to, got we if got somebody real did pedophiles. That, we got real if pedophiles. If somebody that's, did that to cool one of your with, family members, that's cool with Oprah Winfrey and all these motherfuckers, and ain't nobody said a word to him. No smooth. They was just fucking them girls at the school. They was they was they was uh uh had a uh, sex trafficking ring at Oprah Winfrey School in Africa. Am I lying? Uh, school in did, Africa. Nigga, did Oprah nigga, Winfrey? Did, did, did Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, Winfrey no, no, herself? No 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 no. no, 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 no. Did Oprah then Winfrey herself? That, then on top of that, exactly. The nigga that that they killed. The you know they killed this nigga. Loud, they killed the nigga this nigga wrong. in his in his uh in his prison cell, saying he hung wrong, himself, yes. saying he hung himself. But everybody know. You know what I'm saying? You had billionaires come to this goddamn island and you had a, a fucking book with niggas' names in it. The shit, some of the shit got leaked and your best friend name all in the shit. Smooth. And then people start coming out, but you ain't say nothing about that. Smooth. I'm just saying, he man. Slipped something they got plenty niggas. Drink. They got plenty he niggas out here. Something that, that, in the her nigga went drink. to jail on no on, on no real he goddamn admitted. Charge, bro. He admitted Man, to slipping that, something in her drink. That nigga, that nigga admitted so to that. So that was a lie. The that admittance that. was a lie. Yes. So you say he lied lie. about all that was telling the truth. All that was a lie. Why would you lie about telling the truth? All that was a lie. All of it. If I, if, if I didn't do some shit, I would not say I did it when I didn't. When power, I don't give a when damn what's going and on. power involved, you nah, you going gonna to say what you need to say. Nah, yeah. smooth. You gonna say what you need? To say. They got plenty of niggas go to jail and get out of jail on some. Hey man, if you just say this right here, my nigga, you go home. Am I lying? Am I lying? Yes. Okay. Next subject, bro. But you know Next better. Subject. But if you I didn't do no it, if you didn't do it, you gonna say they I didn't do it. They got plenty of niggas that say they didn't do it, and then when when the shit when they back against the, if hey, the look, shit, look, hit the fan and I didn't do 50. it, and I get convicted. That's you, different. You facing fifty, nigga. You going you hey, what you gonna do? You gonna stay in here and, and get the fifty? We going to trial? Are you gonna fold? We going to trial? No, nigga. Because I'm innocent. No. No, come on. Next, next. Yeah. Free my nigga, man. Don't oh, let no. my nigga free, man. Get on these hoes, Bill. Can you get your boy? Um, I'm not with it. I, I hear what Matt's saying. I'm not with it. I'm not with y'all. I'm, I'm with my but, nigga. But when he admits to saying he did something, thank you. Regardless if he got off or not, he admitted saying he did something and something that stupid and that dangerous to not just one woman. You got 40 women that came out? You got all 40 women on? So we're we going to say, okay, look, listen. You got listen, all 40 women? Okay. I don't know. That's a lot of people. I, I, I don't say the same thing about Deshaun Jackson, about Deshaun Watson? When this shit over with, we're going to say the same thing about him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My thing is this. Okay. I okay. feel like, okay, if it's one accuser, then we can argue about it. 40, we not, no, 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 no. You did something. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And then when you come out in the deposition and admit it, just because you know that you're going to have immunity... Years. That means you did it. You got off on the technicality because the agreement was I if you why, admit it. I wonder why they gave him immunity, though. I wonder why. Because that because they felt like that they couldn't win the case. And then at that time, it was only one woman. Then going forward, 40 more came forward. And that's what made them reopen the case and convict him. But because he agreed to that 2017 situation where it was one woman and they felt like they couldn't prove the case, he said, you know what? Oh, I'll, I I'll, what I'll say that. Oh, I get what y'all saying. Y'all saying they locked him up off of that conviction. Well, off of that. Situation, they didn't lock him up off the other women, even though the other women came forward and all that shit. But that's the evidence they use, and that's what got him out. No, no, you saying 
Right, right, right. They usually have one case for the, basically all the other ones. Right, right, right. Th- those so, those other forty women that came forward was character witnesses. Well, which is which is how the prosecution painted it, and that's what got him convicted. But Bill Cosby was saying they wasn't character witness. They were just attacking my the, my character. They was used to attack my character. But these women are coming out telling detailed stories, and that's what made him get convicted. Well, they got plenty of good lies. We know a few. I mean, with forty of them, we got plenty, why? Plenty what, what's of good what's lies. the like like what are you getting from coming out lying? Money. They is not paying forty plus money. women to come out there and lie on Bill Cosby. Bro. Money. Money. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not wrong. Well, you see, we ain't hearing nothing about Deshaun Deshaun Watson case no more. We ain't hearing nothing about it. Nowhere, uh, nowhere on, online, nowhere. You know why? If he came out today and was like, "Look, Texas man, look, I'm gonna give y'all back this money, man. Just trade me. I guarantee y'all that shit'll go away." It's about money. All because if they trade, trade if they trade him, they still have to pay him, but and they don't want to do that. But how many other athletes and you, have if, wanted you out, as a, if you as a billionaire, how many other athletes have you, wanted out? And none of that shit happened. Because they didn't have no money on the table. He just signed that deal a year ago. Say he didn't. They okay. had no money on the table with nobody else. That's why Aaron Rodgers acting how he acting. That's how you. That's why he acting like that. That's why when, when that shit happened, uh, AB, all them up. teams didn't want to get that money up. And he took all them motherfuckers to court to get that money. It's about the money. You have weird people in this world. It's bro. about the money. You have If Deshaun came out to, not even came out publicly, but just told the Texas back, hey, look. When y'all boys trade me, man, look, I'm going to give y'all back this money. I'm going to give y'all back a lot of this money, man. Just get me out of here. I guarantee you none of that shit would happen. Bro, they traded Deshaun, that nigga, Deshaun and he gave him that money under the Deshaun table, and it been good. admit to doing those things to those oh, women. Come on, man. That's did he, true. Did he come admit on. it? But he, it still destroyed did, him publicly. Did he admit it? It still destroyed him publicly. Did he Say admit it? Didn't. Did he admit it? Did it destroy him publicly? You don't want to yeah, answer my question. Yeah, but that was okay, outside then. of his control. He didn't, he didn't uh, own it. Bill yeah, Cosby yeah, came yeah. out and said, I did Thank these you. things. He didn't came out and said that. Yes, he did. He admitted to putting Quaaludes in chicks' drink. If you get immunity on some shit, that means, hey, I'm going to say what you got to say to get up out of here. No, 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 that's not how immunity works. Come on, bro. Immunity works on some situations like, okay, I'm going to give you, com- okay, I, I got immunity. Okay, this is what really happened because I know I ain't going to jail. So, okay, look, I did this, I did that, da, 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 but I'm not going to jail, right? That's what the immunity agreement is. All right, cool. That's what immunity they, is, they, bro. They give a lot so of So, niggas, niggas not lying they after give, they get immunity. Yes, they that's do. not going to. They give a what? lot of niggas, they give a lot of niggas that, especially if you, uh, if folk, you that's see not a lot works, of drug bro. cases, niggas get that shit. Oh, oh, you you let me off scot free? All right, well, look, it was him, him, him. Oh, I ain't really do that. I was just watching these niggas. Niggas, oh, I don't know nothing. I ain't, yeah, we ain't gonna touch on that. Oh, yeah, but yeah, this right here, and that's what niggas do. No, because how how immunity works, especially in regards to the feds. If you if they give you immunity, the the terms of that immunity is if you lie, we can revoke it. Man. So we need the God's honest truth. You're not going to jail. So what point? What six point nine, is lying? Six nine right. prime example. Hey, that's the thing. So again, when he comes out say, and so admits to putting quaaludes and tricks, chin tricks, so man. he didn't lie. No, six nine. Okay. He didn't Hell lie. No, he told he didn't all lie. them niggas. He served his little minimal time and put all them niggas under the bus. Bro, you can go back what? to Sammy the Bull. You can go to Frank Lucas. You can go to whoever you want to. When you sign that immunity deal, the terms of that immunity is we need the truth. If we find out Frank one Lucas thing, if we find out one thing that you told Frank us is not true, we only, can revoke it. He only told on the niggas because they took his promise. You bringing up ass. one situation, bro. I named five <laughs> niggas. What I'm saying is, is that if you renege on the immunity, they can revoke it and you're going to jail. Period. He did, so he did not fucking lie. He I came did. out, he did. He said he did what he said he did. I'm not with it. He did it. And got off on a technicality. Let's call it what it is. Free my nigga Bill. He did it. Next thing. He did that shit. Let change the camera real quick. Free my nigga Bill. He did that shit. Free my nigga Bill. Y'all heard me. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> okay, right, man. Let's go. On, on to the next thing. Um, recently, Tabitha Brown and Wendy Williams was in the news, arguing over what I feel like is something that's so petty. But I'm gonna give you a little back uh backstory. Um, Tabitha Brown recently came out and said that you know with her recent success in regards to acting, she was able to retire her husband Chance from his job as a police officer yeah. after 15 years. That's something that she called quote unquote dream come true. Now when she said it. She got a lot of positive feedback. Oh, congrats, Queen. That's what you do. Da, 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 this, that, and the third. Wendy Williams came out on her show and blasted her for it. Essentially saying, well, I was married to one of those. Hurt. I, ma- I make the money and so on and so forth. Go live your dreams. Open a business. Go, go, go. And we see how that turned out. Uh, Wendy Williams said, I predict that this marriage is going to be on a real rocky ground in a moment. Live your dream. <laughs> They may invest in stuff and lose the money, she continued. They invest in something else, then the money gets swindled or stolen. Then they invest again, and he comes home and throws his bag down. He's like, what, what? He's like, I can't do this, and this is your fault, and you're over here making the money and stuff and had me quit my job. 
So essentially, she came out and was just flat projecting. out fam. Her situ- projecting her situation. Right. So Tabitha Brown came out, mm-hmm. and she had a few choice things to say. Hey. We're going to play it. And uh, I want to get y'all I love the way she said it. She was too. so eloquent, and she was so soft-spoken. Hello there. Y'all all right? Very good, honey. I was up doing a little work here. That's why I got my pajamas on in my office. And then my phone started going off, like praising people. It's like, girl, you're Wendy Williams. Um, first of all, Wendy Williams, honey, God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Um, and so people sent me a little clip. And I said, oh, my God, the pain this woman must be in. Wendy, the pain you must be in to feel this way. And I'm so sorry. But listen, let me tell you this. Um, 23 years I've been with my husband. Yes. Uh, Broke for a very long time together. Struggled for a very long time together. Succeeded Mm. for the last couple of years together. Right? Uh, My husband took a job in agreement with me. He took a job 15 years ago to help support my dream. And I know you may not know what that looks like in a genuine uh, place, right? Um, (laughs) But this was an agreement that my husband and I had. And I told him 15 years ago, oh, babe, in five years, I'll be able to take you out of there so then you can pursue one of your dreams that you love. Right now, I was his dog in the fight, okay? And he believed in me. Mm. And we did it together for the last... 15 years. Mm. I did every year with him at LAPD, and he did every year with me with rejection and no's in this entertainment industry, right? However, God has blessed me. He has allowed me to manifest. I've been praying on this for a very long time, and it has now come to pass. That is the power of God. It's also the power of allowing God to be first in your marriage, okay? Um, And that is how it remain successful. We keep him first. He is first in our marriage. Not money, Mm. not business, Mm. not success, but God, he's first. Mm. Okay? Um, So this is my prayer for you. Uh, I pray that love finds you, true love. I pray it finds you and it holds you tight. I pray that someone will love you enough to see you to see you when you are not well, to see you when you need true support, to see you when you need compassion, to see you when you need kindness. I pray that somebody loves you enough to sacrifice their life for you. I pray that type of love binds you so that you can understand why. I don't want my husband to put his life on the line anymore wearing a bulletproof vest if he don't have to. And if that's not his desire, I love him enough that I want him to be safe and I want him to coach children the way he wants to. My husband has a nonprofit, right? And he wants to be able to build that even more so. And what I do know is a nine to five or a steady job takes away time for creativity, takes away time that you want to pour into your real true purpose. And if God blesses someone to be able to pull out of that nine to five and pour everything into their purpose, their passion, ooh, my goodness, why would we dishonor God if he blesses us with the ability and the way to be able to do so? Talk. Talk that talk. That's queen. I mean, first of all, talk that talk. That's queen behavior. That's queen behavior. Right Ultimate there, queen behavior. A lot, of, a lot of people never had that type of love, though. That go over a lot of people here. Because they, they don't have that real love. Did y'all hear her, though? They don't have real love. Did y'all hear her? He took a job. That so was, she could elevate. So she could elevate. That Just was timely find, for them. Find her passion. Family, everything. Look, babe, I, I got it. Mm-hmm. We good. Then on top of that, she say, we was broke for years. 15 years of broke. Was broke for 15 that's years. A long, that, 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 that's that's, that's a lot of broke. Chan, hey, hey, I thought they was broke, hey, but I get it. You know what's crazy? 
No, no, no. Don't do that, oh. Don't do that. Don't shortchange it. No, no, no. I'm saying because he worked for LAPD no. and she was acting, you so she was making some kind no, no, no. of money. No, no, no. She said rejection she after rejection, rejection and no after, after no. He that's was carrying it. He was carrying I'm everything. Broke. That's what a grown Working man Working for the do. LAPD. That's what a grown man do. But he, I get it. I get it. Working for the LAPD. It ain't mm-hmm. like he a sergeant or something. Mm-hmm. Stop hating, no. A moment. I'm not hating. A moment. I love it. What the fuck? I'm I mean, they saying. not broke. They just not wealthy. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm but saying. for her to go chase the dream down and she to bring nothing in while he bring, while he bring up right. everything, it's a lot, especially living in L.A. And now she elevated where she needs to get. Now, baby, let me let let me help yeah, you. And out. she said five like, years. In five years, I'll be able to take you from there. It took him fifteen, 15 mm-hmm. right? So it don't happen when you want it to happen. Nope. But the moment it happened for, hey, look, baby, you been carrying the load this whole time. It's time for you to elevate. Mm. Quit that bullshit. We got enough money. I got it on this end. You want to go start that nonprofit? Quit yeah, that bullshit. It is. Let's go. Mm-hmm. God damn me. He may not come when you want him, but he'll be there on time. God damn me. And that's the thing I think just gets lost in translation. People be so caught up in these roles and gender roles, whatever the case may be. When you married or you know, when you deeply in love with somebody, it is a partnership. That's what you're signing up for. There's gonna be sacrifices made. Like we, it's gonna be times where I'm up. It's gonna be times where she down, where she down, or she up when I'm down. Whatever the case may be. But y'all are a partnership, so y'all do what y'all got to do to make this partnership work in the most efficient way possible. Just like you said, my husband is LAPD. He out there risking his life every day. Mm-hmm. Why would I uh, keep allowing him to do that if I'm in a position blessed enough to be able to help him make a transition? And for a woman to feel like. She's wrong for doing that. It just shows like the just level hey, of delusion and, and just disrespect selfishness and hey. non regard for the the man's happiness, bro. And then on top of that, she was like, "He believed in me this whole time, right. And didn't quit on me. Mm-hmm. Fifteen years, mm-hmm. fifteen years of broke. That nigga didn't quit on you. Hey, babe, look, I believe in you. Gonna get it. Fuck. Mm-hmm. All you need we is one year. I know. I know you got a thousand those. We, we just a, need one year. Got a roof over our head. You we, know what I'm saying? Good. We, we still good. eating. We eating. You know that's my problem Do with it. Thing. That's my problem with it. Is that the 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 general notion is is that like a man's happiness is just not important. Just like y'all said, he held it down fifteen years. In most women's eyes, you're supposed to do that. Because mm-hmm. you're a man. Because you're a man. You're supposed to do that. You're supposed to provide whatever the case may be. But still, when it, when she uh, held on, she's not supposed to help you. You're supposed to continue to get it on her on your own while she's you know hey. rich and making money. It's just like bro. Like we just had somebody on live. She making a hundred. He had forty. Right. She asking what should she do. Right, they not married, but well, still. yeah, true. But but still, <laughs> but she that, loved I mean, him to death. Out, but she, like, she loved him to death. Yeah, she said they was went together through high school, yeah. something like that. She they loved him to death. Minute. So you know what I'm saying? You make enough money to 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 see what his dreams is like. If he got any, if he ain't got no dreams, then that's when you leave. But a nigga want to go do something, you in a position to fund shit that most niggas will never be able to fund. Because like, baby, you know what? You could. You could still quit that job or work that and just find something else. What's your passion? Let me help you out you know find saying, your passion. You make enough money to do that. A lot of people won't ever know what that feel like. Even people bringing in 60 together. If somebody say, oh, I'm going to stop quitting and go chase my dream down, that's going to shake the whole household. But you making that 100 by yourself, a, a motherfucker say, hey, look, hey. I need you to elevate us. I know this honey cool, but we can go get 500 together, but you got to go do this. Mm-hmm. You can't be working on nine to five. Go start a business. You passionate about that? We're going to pour everything we get. No, we're going to still live the same, right. but we're going to pour everything extra. We're going to pour it over here. That's real. I just don't understand. Why is it such an issue when a woman is trying to level her man up? Because if the situation is reversed again, say that, that man took off in acting. And his wife was a police officer, secretary at the desk or whatever. If he was like, you know, baby, go chase your dreams. He would get praise for that. Nothing but praise for that. But if the situation is flipped again, now again, they're they're married. We're not talking about dating. We're not talking about boyfriend kind of talking. No, they're married. 15, 20 something years of marriage. 23. There should not be a negative word said Ever. about her lifting, uplifting her husband mm-hmm. of 20 plus years. That's what I'm <laughs> Why is that the case, bro? But in the opposite, it's like, okay, he's supposed to. You Wait, you hey, rich and your wife working? Hey, and you know what's crazy? What? If it was reverse and she was the officer and he was the dude doing the chasing down the dream and all that, they'd have looked at, they'd have looked at the situation like it was crazy. Hell like yeah. you allowing him to do that. He ain't bringing nothing in. He barely bringing, he here and there with it. Like, bro, come on, bro. Yeah, I didn't know he was LAPD. Yeah. Like a dangerous job. And you t- 
Yeah. Don't don't take him away from a dangerous drive as a black man and right. And you know they put him in the worst. You know they put him. Ever. You know they put him deep with the blood. To that's the that's Christ ultimate Jesus. love. That's ultimate love. Sacrifice oh, no. for Good both baby. of them. That's what it's about. Look, I'm blessed to make a couple million dollars in this game. It's time. It's time for you to leave that. I can care less how much you love it. Go we'll chase your dream down. But I you think a, today. a lot of times in those situations, for a lot of people, it take entirely too much for somebody to want to do that. Like, a lot of people aren't just willing to be super unselfish off the bat. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to prove something. That's why a lot don't work. Exactly. Because we in our society, it's just what it is. We have trust issues. Like and most people would have made that money issues. like her. She'd have made it. Most people would have made that money that she made and left that nigga there. Mm-hmm. After he didn't let you go for 15 years to chase your dream down. And the moment you became super successful to, re- to, to, to retire levels. somebody. Somebody else, not yourself. Right. But to retire somebody else, you got some paper. Mm-hmm. You got some real money. Most people would have been like, eh, especially not, you know what I'm saying, uh, us growing up, they, they're they little older than us. But us growing up, most people would have left that left the other side in the dust. Yep. I don't question. think we going to work. Well, fuck, what, I, I let you go do this for 15 years. I, I done funded everything. And that's, some, that's one, I think that's one of the main reasons why men are scared to get married. We never brought that up before, but I think that's one of the reasons too, because like, Think about some of the songs, like a lot of songs men be like, if I fell off or if I was ha- if I had nothing, would you still love me? You know what I'm saying? She's like, that's a lot of different songs with men saying in different various ways. And that's really what men be concerned about at the end of the day. If something were to happen to me and I fall off, do you have me? And in a lot of cases, these women don't. Nope. Th- that's just what it is. You fall but, off, and but I if it's go. the uh, if it's the other way around, if you fall off, I catch you, I build you back up, I set you, you know, however. How I'm supposed to do it, but the other way around, men are scared that that's not going to happen, and that's not a partnership. It's not one way. It's two of us together. It's somebody profiting, and the other side, like, hey, if I ain't profiting, I'm gone, and that's how it is. And that's why y'all relationships and marriages don't be working. Yep. You're just going to keep it honest. That's why y'all change boyfriends every two, three months. That's why y'all, you know what I'm saying, smashing niggas that got gals already. That's why. It's just, it's just like a, a, a bunch of situations like that because of how y'all mindset is. It's not a partnership mindset. Women, a lot of women in this area want to be treated like children. Yes. Y'all don't want to be a partner. Y'all want to be treated like children. I want that man to come in and, and fund everything that you got going and take care of you and protect you and do all of this, do all that. And you're not giving him no benefit aside from refurbished pussy that everybody else in the neighborhood done got. Mm, mm, mm. Like, like you put like it's not that good, baby. That's, that's, that's another thing. Let's just put that on the as well. It's ten a hundred women out here that can give him the same type of ass that you're giving him or better. You're it's, you're not special. You're not. <laughs> what the that's fuck a, are you bringing to the truth. table, bro? That's and, the that, truth. and that's real. But a lot of them come into the situation like, okay, I'm pretty, I'm go, I got this, I got pussy out there, I can get any nigga on. Sure. But you're single every time we look at you. You cannot maintain a relationship past six months. And it's cause your dumb ass mindset is why. And that's why Wendy Williams' husband cheated on her. We just gonna keep it G. Her her mind her opinions in regards to this sheds light on why her husband cheated on her. Facts. Because you got a dumbass mindset, a fucked up mindset. Yep. You got hurt me, mindset. me, me. That's just bro, real, bro. You got a me, 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 me mindset. Yep. That's what you got. Instead of a we. You got a me, me, me mindset, and then you wonder why niggas ain't with you. You wonder why you getting divorces, or you wonder why you can't even make it to the marriage. Right. Got a solid nigga Held her down 15 plus years Working working one of the most Dangerous jobs That you could possibly work mm-hmm. And you have the nerve To open your mouth And say a bad thing About her ha- Wanting him to retire And pursue something That's more safe That's gonna guarantee him Coming home every day Pursuing after, happiness After he didn't Held happiness. her down and, and let her chase her dreams For 15 years I say people, man People hate other people Being happy Bitter hoes gotta go Sit down somewhere <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day And that and that's what This shit boils down to A lot of y'all Just bitter your, your relationship, your marriage did not work, and now you projecting on this woman who her and her man is thriving out here and blessed, just like she just said. And again, shout out to her for how gracefully she and had now the you a side to a married nigga. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, shout out to Tabitha. What the other woman got? Because she came and addressed that very, very gracefully. She didn't call out her name. She didn't have a lot of sass, a lot of whatever the case may be. She came out and said, essentially, in a polite manner, mind your fucking business. You don't know nothing about what's going on in my marriage. Nothing. And it needs to be a lot more of that going on. Shout out to her. Another round of applause. Queen behavior, man. And shout out to her husband for holding her down and staying, you know what I'm saying, letting her pursue her shit as well. Because, you know, niggas don't get enough credit for that. That's goddess behavior, yeah. It's real rough. Kenny? Can you got something to add to that? (laughs) I'm just here so I won't get fired. (laughs) 
out of these bitter ass hoes. You one pink slip away, man. <laughs> 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 oh, no, nah, they, they already called B uh, Trill Button. You know what I'm saying? Damn, <laughs> that's fucked up. That's why I got my eye on that nigga. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking all paperwork. I'm checking all tweets. I'm checking all meetings. You hear me? I'm, I'm, I'm still in like the gate. You ain't even got to check it, I'm still in. Hey, what you going to do about it? Straight up. Is that, is that manipulation? We got to go. Oh, we got to we yeah. shoot the that, spot up here. manipulation. <laughs> he told us he's still there. We still here. What the fuck? You know what? You know what? I'm gone. You want to get paid? You want to get paid or what? I always bring it full circle. I always bring it full circle. <laughs> All right, man, on to a lighter note. Recently, uh, there was a quote-unquote baller that went out with a chick. Decent-looking chick. She ain't even that bad. Y'all see her? Y'all see her? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Average looking. She chick. average in Houston. That bad. She average in Houston. Yeah, average in Houston. The camera's but, all messed up. It's, a, it's only in two two pixels. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of phone was that? What kind of phone was that? Nah, bro. This the a, this the news broadcast. Yeah, they, that's they, a, they, a, they, a surveillance yeah. footage. They got a, a they, coming they in out the hotel. They going bankrupt over there. Yeah. Right, here we go. But uh, but yeah. So she comes. Uh, uh, he goes out, takes out on a date, whatever the case may be. He finessing. They go back to the hotel. They got surveillance footage, and then walking into the hotel, bro got a whole bunch of jewelry on, allegedly a million dollars in. Jury. I'm just gonna play the clip and I wanna get y'all response mm-hmm. to what y'all hear. Fox 5 exclusive. It may have looked like a romantic night out between a man and this woman, but Atlanta de- detectives say it was anything but a love connection. They say the woman wasn't really interested in the guy. Yeah, they say what she was eyeing was a million dollars worth of jewelry. Now, Fox 5's Morse Diggs has exclusive images of some of the jewelry that investigators say the date took from that man. Atlanta investigators have a warning for men. Better be careful if you're looking for an instant love connection. (laughs) Does this woman look familiar? Over the weekend, Atlanta police say she swindled her date, starting with an opening glad to meet you conversation at a Roswell Road night spot. After some food, the two visited a Buckhead adult entertainment location and the party went on to after midnight. But the night did not end there. Last stop, a swank hotel. Now here's another surveillance image and check out what the date who's behind the young lady is wearing. Lots of jewelry. So he reported that the jewelry was worth approximately a million dollars. He advised before he went to sleep, he took his jewelry off and placed it in the hotel room's uh, safe. When he, he woke up, he noticed that the woman was not in the bed with him anymore. He did hear the shower going, so he assumed that she was taking a shower at that time. Instead of getting clean, police say the woman cleaned out the safe. She had left that hotel hours before the gentleman woke up. We would just say, be be careful who you allow into your hotel rooms. If you think you know who the woman is in these clear images, call the authorities. From Atlanta Police Zone 2, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox. Sorry to say, but she going to die over that jury. Gots to be more careful. I'm sorry to say that. He thought it was an Insta love connection. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God, she killing me. Dog. That happens all the time, though. It he just, wrote that. It he wrote the, that one down. Insta death. Hey. He wrote that one down. It, it just don't be if like the cop that don't grand find scale. Her first, she gonna die over that million dollars worth of jewelry. First off, I don't believe it was me, dog. I thought I think bro doing his insurance shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she took a million. You're probably it was about five. She took a million. Five hundred. Shit. Yeah. Five hundred. That's yeah. gonna die over there. He no. might be in cohorts with her. They might be scamming. Might, that, might happens, might, bro, scamming. that happens right. all the but time. But if she they not just scamming, don't report it. If she not scamming, well, if he not scamming, that happened all the time. Dudes are, that money. How dudes, the hell you put it in a vault and she know the code? Because she was watching. She was watching while he was putting it in the safe. He was the, probably the drunk, women like high. that. Yes, but women like that take advantage of dudes. They Which, got the money. They gonna put the pussy on a real quick. Fake sleep. Wake up while he knocked out, drunk, whatever on whatever, and and she dipped. That bro, that happens a lot. Niggas just don't report it because it don't be that much money. At but niggas get their Rolexes stolen and. Shit, Davies had a song about that shit. Like J Cole had one. Too? Like Nick, they what, you, what you want the code to be? What what I want the code to be? <laughs> oh, you really want me to rob you? No, too easy. Over some, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Boys be a little too too trustworthy. It's a little too trustworthy. Pretty face. You can't trust a big button to smile. They've been te- poison. Okay, so, been telling you. So hypothetically speaking, we gonna we gonna bring the same scenario back. 
how should he have handled it top to bottom? Give me top of the night to the bottom of the night. How should that night have gone for him? Yeah, hey, if he's moving st- correctly. That's a long story for top of the night. I mean, they, they met up. They linked up. I mean, Start from the club. Start from the strip club. And yeah, we left the strip club. We're going to some Measley or Hotel. I'm not going when to the Measley Hotel, I'm not first going off. To, they Two won't star. Measley one. Not if I got a half a million on my neck. I'm not going to no Measley Hotel. At all. I'm going. I'm to going with something that you you need the key to get upstairs, nigga. At least the niggas gonna keep the door in. You on the first floor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck that. It's, you know how easy it is to get a key. No, it's not. Depend on where you at. Depend on where you at. Okay, I'm spending. I'm gonna spend. Well, never mind. He got a million dollars. Okay. In Atlanta, it wasn't that dollars. easy. All you had to do was say the name and. Uh, uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> They need right. edit that out. <laughs> they need a little more reservation. But I'll say, okay, you get a, you get a hotel room, whatever that's nice or whatever that you got to get a key to get up to the next room. Mm-hmm. First of all, you wouldn't have been in there all night. I would know what I had to do. Got up and left. I would have never stayed there. They ain't, pussy ain't gonna be good enough for me to sit there and pass out. And I wouldn't have got extremely drunk around a girl. I ain't never know. That, that I just met that day Especially with a million dollars Of the jury on but, but what if you was already drunk When you met her You know I'd be at the club You sipping all night You you might pull something On, on the walkout Okay for, for Why me Why am I by myself With a million dollars of jury on First That is of a all. great question For me Rule number one Always t- no, Learn this at an early age That's why you don't Walk around with all that jury In the first place You are walking around Waiting to get robbed That's what I was always taught you know what I'm saying? You went. You you are a walking billboard to saying, "Come get me." So you saying that he? But okay, let's let's rewind. Let's let's keep you it. Can tailor it down. So you can still be bringing. I seen but the it surveillance, down. and Bro didn't look like he was in the best shape. So he probably might have needed that jury to get the attention of that type of woman. See y'all lot. y'all that's speaking, but you but you speaking from a perspective of a nigga that's just that handsome. just get old. Just, just say handsome. Just okay, I mean so I, I, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> if we're talking about all this, he just ain't handsome. Jury. <laughs> he gonna. Need- might need gold slippers. <laughs> I don't need it now, and I never will. Nigga. But it's like, but but again, I say that to say every man don't have the same pulling capability. So Correct. some dudes Correct. might feel like, okay, I gotta wear all my shit out to get the type of woman that I want. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if I had to guess, I feel I feel like that's the type of dude he was. You need a safe. Man. You need a safe inside of a safe or some shit. Like she was clearly watching. You need a spot you can go to to be down and leave that same night. You don't stay and fall asleep. But he was drunk, Kenny. He he beat, and then as soon as he nutted, he passed out. But see, look, though, Kenny Kenny said something yesterday off camera that I felt like was very profound in regards to this story. Kenny said, if I'm him, I got a million dollars, I'm going to give me two hotel rooms. I got one hotel room that I'm actually staying in, mm-hmm. and I'm going to get another hotel room that I'm taking your dumb ass to. So mm-hmm. I'm going to take you to that hotel, smash you, pack my shit, and go to the hotel that I'm actually staying at. And spend a night. That's how you should have handled it. I feel like I'm 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 in agreement with that. I'm in agreement with it, but at the same time, like if if he drunk, he in the moment, he not thinking about all that. But why are you that drunk with a million drunk on? With a million dollars on. That's the that's the issue. I know. Like if, with if a I got a just million, met. Right. If I got a million in jury on, allegedly, I'm 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 don't get me wrong, I'm I'm gonna drink or whatever, but I'm not gonna be sloppy the way I can't the way I can see you I can't see you over my shoulder watching me punch my safe code in. That's the it's like, come on, fam. Yeah, that's sucker. That's sucker. You know in, my, in, in, in Miami, first Careless. of all. Yeah. Careless. Like one of the homes of the scammers. No, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. 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 Shakari Richardson, my girl Shakari Richardson. Pardon me, I want to, I want to, I want to say her name right. Um, recently, she popped up with a positive drug test, marijuana, and they are banning her for thirty days. Now, within these thirty days, the hundred meter dash will be ran, and she will not be able to participate in it. Now, she will be able to participate in the four by one relay, but not the hundred meter dash. Well, she ran a ten eight, I think, last week. Sometime and set a set a record or not set a record, but uh, did, did, did she, did she set a record? Was a record. That was, was a record. record. Mm-hmm. That was a okay, record. yeah. So she she set a record. So everybody she ran you know a ten six was it ten six? Yeah, she ten six eight I think. And in the final, she ran like ten seven five. Yeah. So you know everybody automatically. So okay, we in the Olympics, baby. We, we about to take this hundo. That's that's a bet. 
and then they popped up for marijuana. So how do y'all feel about them suspending her for 30 days for marijuana and I not allowing her to run the 100 meters? If I was her, I wouldn't even run the 4x1. Fuck it. You gonna suspend me, suspend me for everything, bitch. Fuck it. I'm the biggest draw at the event. I can't say that. I'm the man. biggest draw at the event. Say I'm lying. I mean, you uh, one for the win for the women. Yeah. She is the biggest draw at the event. You can't say well, that. Well, no, you got Sydney Sydney McClellan who just broke the world record. Yeah, but but if she hurdles. ain't got nobody to run against, she do. That makes me the draw. She do. No, oh Jamaica. You must not know Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica cool. Right. Oh, girl. Oh, girl but we not looking at it just Jamaica. for the Jamaicans. I'm just saying it's uh, it's the Olympics. What you mean? Yeah. All, yeah. I'm, all I'm saying we is, not looking at the tape if we know who gonna win already. She Are not we? Go, she not. She's she not, not guaranteed, guaranteed to win. To the win. girl Come Jamaica on, is faster than her. That's the Come thing. On, Usain Bolt guaranteed to win. That's different. She's not Usain right. Bolt level. Come on, man. True. She's very nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think no woman has ever ran under a nine. Well, under a ten. A girl in Jamaica is running at. She's, she's running. Not, she's not the fastest. She, she, on she is not the she fastest. She qualified for us. No, I'm saying, is a woman like is a woman running a, a, a sub ten? Yes. What it, what, not what not it, sub ten. Sub eleven. Her name yeah. is uh. Damn. Nah. What did Flojo run? Flojo ran like a ten. Ten two or some shit. Ten two. She ran nah, something low. It was, Ran something low, huh? Oh, no, I got, I got to ten, ten, five. Flojo ran ten four nine. Ten four nine. Okay. Ten five. Yeah. Shelly Ann Frazier ran ten six three. Come. Uh, that's, that's who so running low? with her. That's who running. Yes. That's Come, yes. Come, yes. Come yes. Yes. Shelly Ann Frazier. Marion Jones ran a ten six five. Mm-hmm. But Marion Jones is on them steroids. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Marion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, uh, so. just for the situation, I think they penalized her because she broke the rule, mm-hmm. which is right. I mean, you wasn't supposed to be smoking weed, but. She did it because her mom had passed. Yeah, right. ten, ten seven two. So that was so the sixth highest of all time. I mean, she, I think she took it on her chin like she was supposed to. Hey, I broke the rules. This is what it was. This was the reason, but I'm not at fault for it. This is what I did. I know I was supposed to do it, but this is the reason why. Question: yeah, so Do you I do you do you feel like her cockiness and arrogance played a part in them? No, because they did the same thing to Michael Phelps, and they suspended him for thirty days. No, three months. They suspended him for three months for a picture, not because he popped for a picture. That's right. right. So. I mean, you know, we always try to play that race car, but she only getting thirty days. He getting three. He got three months. For a I mean, she she, she knew popped. what it was. She knows yeah, she, she was did. wrong. She knew she broke the rules. Seen, she accepted it. I seen the uh, and, and it ain't no race car. You know the rules. I seen a high profile reporter say they looked the other way for a long time with Phelps. That pitcher was got him caught. Probably did. But they looked the they looked the other way for Phelps. Mm-hmm. That's I mean, what he said. And, and I'm talking stamp, but goddamn, what he had like eighteen million followers. Mm-hmm. He said, man, y'all should let that girl run. Y'all looked the other way for years with this man for some weed. And it ain't like it's enhancing you. But I still say it's the rules, though. You know you weren't supposed to do it. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. Like, if you get get drug tested, you know what I'm saying? You've been on the job. Let's say you've been on the job eight years. You ain't never been drug tested. But you know if you get drug tested and they find weed in your system, you get fired. They ain't never drug tested you in your eight years there, but they just randomly, boom. Yeah, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I you get caught. I mean, it's just. I know, feel you. I still it's ain't un- with it. It's though. unfortunate, and she had a lot of shit going on, and I don't blame her I for doing it. But at the same time, she did it. That was so her you, coping you gotta mechanism. Accept, yeah, you got to accept the responsibility. Yeah, I'm still I, I, riding with it though. I, yeah, I agree, man. I think, um, you know, again, the, the rules are the rules. It, it's, it wasn't like okay, this is new rule just got enacted six months ago, three months ago, whatever the case may be, specifically for you. This has always been the rule. So I mean, you got to move a, a little smarter. If I'm in her situation, but I do feel like her arrogance and her cockiness played a role in them kind of putting that ma- putting that magnifying glass on her. Because again, you know, don't get me wrong, that's why I like certain athletes are so special. Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, mm-hmm. Chad Ocho Singer. Motherfuckers come out there, talk wild, and then back it up. You know what I'm saying? And she proved that that she could do that. But what comes with that is people trying to tell you down, just like my, uh, Muhammad Ali with the with the draft, Floyd mm-hmm. going to jail. Uh, uh, Ocho, you know, in, in his situation with uh, Ep, uh Evelyn. Evelyn, whatever, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's situations like that to where when you come out there and you talking wild and you talking reckless like that, you got to be on your P's and Q's. All I's got to be dotted, all T's got to be crossed. So I just hope that she able to use this as a as a lesson, you know, as far as to just stay on point. But as far as how she talking, I think she need to keep talking like that, be you. You know what I'm saying? Stand on what you stand on. But this situation, you just should have moved smarter. In her circle, I don't, I don't know who's around her. I don't know. She definitely needs whatever the case may be. But she team. needs, a, she needs a, a, a better circle. It's no way that she should be getting popped for this yeah, type if, of shit. If I was in her circle, oh, you gonna smoke? We gonna run for a hundred days right now. We gonna run. You gonna smoke yeah. right now? But in that same hour, you gonna run. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how you would tell her how to cope with a death. I right. feel you. Tell somebody you how to cope with a death. There's no I way. Feel you. I feel everybody you. get it. Everybody receive it differently. So there's no way you can tell somebody how to cope. Now, what yeah. I don't agree with what the Olympics is going on is with the swimmers, African uh, that the, the female head. swimmers saying they, that uh, yeah. elite athletes don't need that type of headwear mm-hmm. for yeah. swimming. Yeah. Which swimming caps. Bullshit. I seen that for black women. Uh, I, I think that's it's right. made for black women bullshit. because of their hair and all that. Yeah, that's and, bullshit. And the other female two runners that want to run a two hundred meters, their testosterone level is too high. <laughs> Even though they are females, their testosterone level is too high, so they don't, they won't let them run the Olympics. Wow, there was a couple of them. That's transgender too. That got disqualified. No, these are females. Oh, you talking about females? That, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that's I stop jumping the head like that. My bad. My bad. Oh, he was on that. Oh shit. I mean, that's I that's. We, that's I thought we was on that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Uh, but yeah, prayers out to all boys and ball. Shout out to Shakira Richardson, man. Hold your head up, that's man. Real. Keep talking that fly shit. Don't don't let them humble you. Don't let them try to make go. you PC. None of that. Just right. be a little goat smarter. Miles, goddamn me, you a goat mile. Hell yeah, just be a little Keep smarter with how you moving, man. For real, for real. We we definitely riding for you over here. Facts, but we facts. gonna get into this transgender situation. Um. Recently, there's been a lot of backlash in terms of like, because I think a law was passed, if I'm not mistaken, that allowed transgender women or men that became women to participate in certain women's sports. Mm-hmm. And I want to get y'all's opinion on how y'all feel about that. I don't agree with <laughs> I'm it. I'm not with it. I don't agree with that. I'm not with it. I don't agree with that. First off, <laughs> be, <tread lightly. laughs> be careful. I am. I'm not, I'm not, which is what I was going to express. I'm not fully. I don't have enough knowledge as far as the transgender community and you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, all that stuff. But I do know you still got a lot of testosterone in you. You still like a dude, even though you, you know what I'm saying, going to a woman. That's what I your know, body produces. But, but you, That's right, just naturally. Now you taking pills. <laughs> okay, he's smart. He's you, good. You taking he's pills. Smart. You taking pills to, you know what I'm saying, to get more, uh, what you call it, uh, estrogen and, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, things like that. So I understand that. But at the same time, like when you were born, you were a dude. So naturally, you know what I'm saying, your makeup, all the elements of your body, you're going to have more testosterone, you're going to be faster, you're going to be stronger for the most part. From an anatomy standpoint. From an anatomy exactly. standpoint, because that's how we're naturally made up. So when you go into that realm competing, you automatically going to be at the top. Like, I could do it. I could be treasured right now and go run for Olympics and they could crush it. No, you wouldn't. Shut up. Yes, I'm, I'm, hey, I look at it like this. You ain't no, running no 10 6. Hey, that's like, you ain't running a 12 6. Hey, you crazy. That, hey, that's, like, that's like you saying, Bo, you know what I'm saying? Saying he a transition to run with the girls. No girl on this planet. Because that's what I record. identify Ever. as. That's like Michael Jordan. No way. Yeah, 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 I'm going to transition to woman today. I'm going to play the Juwana Man. Juwana Man. Perfect example. I love you, Juwana Man. I don't know why. What's wrong with me? That's like, you know, I better make a fool of you. That's exactly what it is. That's like Muhammad Ali say, you know what? Or Mike Tyson say, you know what? I'm about to go to women's box. I'm going to go to women's box. I'm a, I'll, I'll change my life. I'll be converted over. I got something that's deep inside of me. Even a half of Mike Tyson, a fourth of Mike Man, Tyson. Can you imagine what Mike Tyson be doing to the women? He's crushing. <laughs> oh, my God. No, bro. I'm sorry. And all. <laughs> nigga would have been changing weight classes to that's fight far- with me. You me? <laughs> they would have liked that nigga. <laughs> that's, that's messed up to that's say, though. real, though. Because they, they changing over, and they're, they're this new person. They would have liked that But nigga. it's like. I, f- I don't and know. You want to be treated? I as can't a say. Woman. I, can't I can't say. I can't fuck with that. I can't say that you shouldn't compete because that would be messed up to say that you can't compete or you. They need to make it either. Either they passion. make you run with what you was born as, or make an event totally for y'all. You could be a transgender and run as a dude still. Like do that. <laughs> yeah, that's for real. Do that. That's what I'm saying. What you was born as. That's what you it run could be or the, the first, or throw the first or whatever woman, it is. The first woman to. Uh, finish second place against men, like you know what I'm saying. Like that would be historic, in a sense. That would be. But well, why can't it be the first man, man to finish first <laughs> against the women? <laughs> That's the fact, though. You know we're not gonna be right on this. Uh, <laughs> you imagine they got that volleyball, hey, they got that volleyball spiking it. <laughs> Come on now. Nigga, nigga, nigga 6'11 out there. Pumping. 
<laughs> it's four of them on one team. Come on, dog. Six, six, nine, six, eight, on, six, nine. Come on, bro. You got to stop somewhere. And that's, and that's my point. Come on, man. Just that's somewhere. All point, the niggas bro. that went on the year 89 nah, in the zero, bro, man. We ain't doing no. that. We ain't doing Come that, bro. On, because, oh. I, because I got a daughter. Look here, man. I got, I, got, I got a daughter, man. And my daughter going to be playing sports. My daughter's small. You know what I'm saying? Uh, could you imagine, bro, if some if a nigga like, Nigga six two six three, but he transgender. He, transgender. He out there playing basketball. But even against a met, her, I met because you. Never mind. I ain't gonna say that. Oh. But would you let her try to play in the NBA? Hell no. Would you let your daughter play football if she wanted? To Hell no. no. Mm. Hell no. No. I'm I'm not right today because of hits I took in football. I can imagine what a woman's frame. Ooh. Would have to deal like, with it. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't imagine build. getting ran over 20 times. In it. Me neither. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, <laughs> me neither. Me neither. I don't know what that feels like. I, I never I ran over my life. But I'm for you, bro. I never ran over my life. But my knee still toe up on the three run. <laughs> Shit. But again, when you when you done speared as many niggas that I have, you done knocked niggas unconscious before in the middle of games, different shit like that, right? But what, what, that, what that does, I have a man frame. I can take that. Uh, the average woman frame is what? 5'4", 140 pounds, 130? Like yeah, Could you imagine her playing the NFL, niggas 250, 260? Playing yeah, running I'm back. I'm saying like the women that's, that's five, there's five now women, 5'11", five, women out there. Six yeah. foot women, 5'8", women You're out right. there. Yes, yeah, sure. But playing that, quarterback. Sure, but what? it's a, but it's a one- difference in the density of bones and right. shit. A woman could be 5'9", 180. But if me and her is in the is in the, the Oklahoma drill together, I'm a folder and half. Bro. I don't know that she's a woman. They're there's, built there's to some, carry her kids. Bones are not heavier than that. There's, there's some strong women out there. Stop. There are. Fan. No, there are. Right. You're right. Hey. Some, but it's a small percentage. But I'm saying that the percentage that can do it. The nah against an average man. Against I'm not rolling. Average man. No, I'm not kidding. rolling. No, kidding. there's women out there playing football right now. Against, against women, other women. No, against other women, no, and and D one leagues. There's a girl that's playing the safety right now for a, a D one college. Look it up real quick, for me. Uh, shit, I would. A black I would, girl. I would. She's I playing. Would, I would love to see. Does she play she's playing safety or cornerback? Does she, does she play? Start? Is she on the team or she's does she play? She 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 does not start. And, and that's no for, safety and no D one. She get school. cleaned up, and I'm sorry. That's, that's all. There's no res- it's, it's all no respect. And, and, and if they all respect to the women, all respect to the women. If I'm the coach of the team, hey, if I'm the coach of the team, you know how can, coach pull your can helmet to you. Go ahead, talk. Can I talk? Hey, Her name is Tony Harris. All Amer- is an American college football player who who was a safety for Central Methodist University and National Association of Intercoll Intercollegiate Athletics. That's a D one school. No. That's still football. That regardless. sound like a, a, a what, if what you, you call it a six field. man. She played for the six man. That, is she on, starting? No, she's not. Let's start and play. Is she? Did she play? Yes. No, she's on the team. I don't know, folks. She might just Come be on, on the bro. roster, bro. How many tackles she got? I know. I, I know one thing. If I see a woman across the field, fam. you know what your coach gonna do to you, nigga? Hey. I'm gonna we fold it up, bro, and that's, that's messed up. Day. Defensive back Tony Harris make, takes the field this this fall as a safety for Central Methodist University. But did she play? No, not yet. You've heard blah, 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 blah. Fam, okay. if I see a, that's no offense, I respect to all women out there. But if I see a woman out there playing safety, hey. They know what they're They know what they're head tap me. I'm out here. <laughs> and again, it's nothing. But look, man, this rest of this is gonna sound besides this. But it's true though, Imagine like bro, like like stop, bro. Are you the running back? I better get the ball fifty times, <laughs> and we <laughs> run, we running the what same she play. At? She's strong side. We run the strong side the all, sa- night, all day, bro. and that's just real. She gonna feel this pressure because again, a, I mean, that's a woman, what that's though. Hey, I mean, and then you telling your lineman, don't block her, don't block <laughs> you, block the rest of them niggas. <laughs> ah, got <Man. laughs> Leave her open, fam. A woman's frame is not built for that. That's what I'm saying. Like football, all, again, all like it's, you're in a car crash for 70 to 80 plays a game. That's, it's literally a car crash. Not That's including practice. Yes. Not including nothing. Hey. Like, your frame is not going to hold up, bro. Y'all y'all running 29 trap tour. <laughs> 32 <laughs> trap tour. Man, I'm, saying. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. A dive. lot of that shit. But, but, but. Imagine but, running but, a dive play. But look, though, look, though, look, though, look, though, look, though, look, though. She might be playing, true. But it's, it's a nigga that's playing college ball with no arms, too. But everybody kind of like take it easy on on him because he ain't got no arms or, or no legs. Mm-hmm. He ain't got no legs. He got arms but no legs. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not. Am I lying? That's, you're you're not, not lying, though. This. Am I lying? You're not lying. I think it's like one dude. That, that's what I'm saying, but he ain't bro. He's no D1, though, is he? Hell no. Nah. But what I'm saying is, he's playing football, though. But niggas, he'll kind of coast. He'll go kind of take it easy. But I'm saying, like, if, if a woman is out there and, and niggas not taking it easy, if they treat her like a regular player, it's a wrap. Her body is not going to hold up, bro. Mm-mm. She ain't lasting. It's long. not going to hold up. Bro. She ain't lasting long. Especially, at, especially at safety. Well, I don't know. Oh, I don't know because they, they gonna say they gonna say they can bear children, so they gonna say they can take a lot of pain. Mm-hmm. That's a different All pain. Boy. She played. She gonna be broke It's a different type that, of pain. She's running niggas over, laying them out. Nah, she ain't doing. That. <laughs> she ain't doing nigga, man. They thought she was sweet. <laughs> they thought she was sweet. <laughs> and she said, "This big pur be out there purring." Okay? Uh, <laughs> hey, until she get uh, blindsided, folk, folk. So, so they run that trap tour. They run that trap tour. Could, trap you, tour that. could you imagine the film session <laughs> if she was to light a nigga up though? For real, you get your ass. Could you imagine the film you session? Quit. Bro? I can see Coach go. Look at this. I would pay money <laughs> to be in there for that film session, bro. <laughs> I will pay money out of my pocket. Look oh, at this. Oh, God. I think it, 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 it that'd be the funniest and we, shit in we life. Gave you a scholarship? We revoking that next year. Me? I think it might happen one day. <laughs> or could you imagine like a, a woman playing receiver? She catch the rock and Ooh. run you over and score. T- can you imagine the film session? Bro? <laughs> she hit you with the stiffy on the side. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going like to never live that down you ever in it. your life, bro. But I say all that to say, I don't want no transgender... People playing with my daughter. If you was born a man, you not playing no no contact sports with my daughter, bro. They need to develop a league strictly for transgender. I, I, I agree. And call that a day. But for you trying to participate, that's how they call the pick. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> was that the spring game? That was the spring game. She lined up. That's the exhibition, man. That's that's the warm up. I want to say tackle somebody. That's black versus white. I want to tackle somebody. She caught a ball with nobody that was around. I want, I want to see attack with somebody. Bro. I'm just showing highlight tapes, dog. That's all I know. I just need they to see attacking the her. They attacking her. Huh? Get about it. She got here. caught on. That's touchdown. No. Oh, okay. No, nah, nah, that nigga she dropped. She broke it. it up. That nigga trash. Show me a tackle, man. Oh, she playing right, deep bro. safety, but she ain't she ain't getting involved in no contact, bro. All right, she missed the pick, but she broke it up. She saw it. Yeah. Oh, she ain't got no pads on right now. That I'm saying. You, know what you ain't saying? seen one tackle yet. What, what a tape. What a real tape, man. Yeah. Different, dog. Niggas just dropped it. Come on. Now. Come about, on, Kenny. Come on. Because think about this, Kenny. Because think about this, Kenny. Look at that. Because think about this, Kenny. Just to think of the makeup. She about to make a tackle? She okay, hold on. Teams, hold on. Special hold teams. On, special on, teams. My bad. Kick off. So I wanna see Look, I'm trying to prove my point here, y'all. I want to see I want to see her make a tackle. I want to see this. Oh, they came to her side. He ran her side. She didn't touch him. Come on. She on, what, I'm what you mean? Man, no, he was on the ground already. Bro. Oh, come on, dog. All right, come we, on, got man. Another, we got another. We got another. She out there again. Let me see it. But she on special teams. Oh, that means she can, on you can make a tackle on special Where teams, at, Kenny. Fam? Right there. You can make a tackle on special teams. He was already on the ground. Come on. She was already on the ground. Kenny. Stop, man. Kenny. Hey, so, so she passed Kenny. that with the half tackles? Kenny. She passed that. Kenny. I just want to tell you something. They got to stop doing Tuck, it. Why are you hollering right there? Tell the tackle. The nigga had his legs already. No, he's lying. Come on, Kenny. He all lying to me, but dog. Kenny, but on. Kenny, okay. What? But check what? this out, though. Even still, even our makeup, you can have a 5'8", 170 safety as a man and tackle a big wide receiver or running Kenny, back, something on, like that. A 5'8", eight, 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 woman 170, it ain't the same, Kenny, bro. come on, Look, bro. she right there. It ain't the she same, She got like 16 bro. tackles already. I, 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 I want to I wanna see her hit a hit an A-gap. That nigga trash. I want to see her hit an A-gap and make Look, a tackle, bro. Oh, Kenny, that tackle. Kenny okay, sometimes got, you go a little too far. Right, sometimes you go a little too far, Kenny. One out of 20 reels. What happened to it? Oh, here it is right here, I think. All right, let me see. Tell me that wasn't one-on-one. Okay, okay. And but that, that was definitely bigger than up. That Kenny, right there is Kenny, one out of 20 reels Kenny, that you showed me. But Kenny, you got to play a whole game. She, I don't think she's playing a whole game. You can't she play She is whole playing game. a whole game. She the safety. No. Niggas got to knock shenanigans off. Okay, but look at <laughs> I ride for you, girl. They got to knock shenanigans you. off, man. I, stop it, man. Kenny, sometimes would, you go just you, a little hey, bit Kenny, too far. Kenny, would you I understand, scholarship? I understand you love your women, but you go sometimes a little too far. Kenny, would you offer a playing, dog. You offer a full scholarship? Uh, you offering a full scholarship? They offered a full scholarship. No, was you? The film you seen just now, you offering a full scholarship. <laughs> Fuck no. Exactly. <laughs> What's the question again? We got, we got, <laughs> hey. 
We're gonna start a new university for, for Kitty. It's gonna be Pandering University. PU. PU for Kitty. Hey, man. Pandering right, for University. You, you out there getting them tackles. I'm riding for you. God damn it. No, all right, no, man. no disrespect to it. All love to it, but come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as far as the, the transgender talk, again, I feel like they should have a league specifically Why for transgender so trans, people. Bro. Though, man. Don't have no nigga that was. Six two six three playing with my daughter for no on, football, man. no box. Come, come what on. What about man. the Basketball rugby girls playing? Man. They playing with girls. Playing with girls, bro. So would you line up against some rugby girls? They, I would, well, I would do it, of course. They about six one. But I mean, in, intention is important. Thirty. They be big. Them rugby girls be big. <laughs> intention is important. You ever seen them softball? Them softball girls? <laughs> they gonna run your ass, bro. I met. Now, see, that's different. Some of them girls be different. <laughs> yeah, right. That's some country fed girls. All right, man. On on to the next. Speaking of fed, country fed. They still fed. Get laid out. Though. Turkey Leg Hut. This is a very, very uh, oh, uh, big damn. restaurant that's in Houston. If you ever been to Houston and you hadn't been to Turkey Leg Hut, you're not living life correctly. But recently, uh, I think two days ago, they came out with a new dress code. I'm just going to read it off. I want to get y'all responses. Number one, all body parts must be completely covered. All cleavage, breasts, thighs, and buttocks must be completely Stop covered. Stop showing that ass. The only thing naked here is turkey legs and chicken wings. <laughs> they said, number two, no swimwear. No swimwear of any kind is allowed. This is the heart of the third ward, not the beach. Mm. Number three, no exposed undergarments. No exposed undergarments allowed. This includes sports bras, bras, panties, or anything resembling these items. This also includes white tank tops for men. Uh, number four, no house attire allowed. No wave caps, bonnets, do-rags, bandanas, house shoes, or shower caps allowed. We want you to feel at home, but this is not your home. Uh, number five, no excessively revealing clothing. Uh, this includes all distressed or ripped clothing. Shorts and shirts must cover your entire top and bottom. Number six, no obscene language or baggy clothing. Hmm. No attire with obscene language or inappropriate offensive graphics. No excessively baggy or sta- sagging pants. Pants must be worn at natural waistline. Hmm. What do y'all feel about that? Wait, context. Turkey Lake Hut is owned by two black people. Now continue. That have tents outside that you have to wait under while it's 116 degrees outside. <laughs> That's a fact. Nigga, like I said, the only thing smoking out there. <laughs> Turkey ah. legs won't be the only thing smoking out there. That's all I got to say. Ah. It is hot as hell waiting in that goddamn line with these little Miss fans going. You tell me I can't. Well, I, make, I make a call, goddamn. <laughs> you can't make so you ain't gonna wear be shorts. Shit. No. Nah. Sorry. That's why I ain't been there in a minute anyway because of that long ass line. To be honest with you, that's yeah. really all it is. That, that's why I said earlier. That's why we need more black establishments. But yeah, do we man, really yeah. need more black establishments because service be trash anyway? Let's, if we're gonna oh. be honest, oh. we, we hey, do you need ain't more. lying. We do you ain't lying. More. We do need more though because they got man. They got a couple black establishments by my crib, bro. By four of them that we tried to go to in one day, bro. All of them was closed. It was the heat of the day, middle of the week. Damn, we need more black Come establishments on, though. We do. We do. We really do. Need more black establishments that cater to the customer service part, like yes. for sure, one hundred percent. Like the satisfaction of the customer. A lot of times, I'll be out here waiting sixteen hours, five hours, four hours. When we was in Atlanta, how long we wait though? Exactly. That shit, that shit was at least four hours to. Yeah, at the end of the day, say, six. "Oh, we won't. That we won't be able to serve you." Wow. Old lady gang, by the way. Don't go to that goddamn place. <laughs> damn, Fuck see, I ain't them. say the name. Fuck them. <laughs> I'm, sorry. Us, I'm sorry. You gotta call us out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Old just lady saying. gang, get in there fuck them because they took our name down at three o'clock said and it told us an we're gonna, is it our wait? They're gonna put us on the wait list. Called us in two hours. What? And said what? Said, uh, if we sit you down, it's gonna, it's gonna be about 45 minutes till we sit you down. Then no, it's gonna, gonna take, take it was gonna be an hour for us to sit you down. Then it's gonna take forty five minutes for the food to come out. Forty five minutes for the food to come out. Dog. Yeah, fuck them. No. What was I, the name again? Old Lady Gang. I, I, fuck I, old lady I think gang. it would just be nice to say, okay, an hour came by, you called us, said, Hey, this was happening. We ain't gonna be able to seat you. Okay, I've been cool with that. We got there at three o'clock, dog. They closed but, at eight. But, There's no reason why we shouldn't have fucking sat down at eight. But, Five hours, nigga? But it's it's I don't, I, still mad. Look at his face. <laughs> nah, we was because like, we was hungry, bro. We was hungry. We had just we, were we sipping? No, we wasn't sipping. But we was hungry, dog. We just wanted to get some soul food. My, just kick me, it. Me and my nigga B, we we uh, black we eating some, uh, some Popeyes, nigga. They pulled it right up too. <laughs> Black hey, y'all, right y'all, 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 y'all was gone. Y'all was gone. Y'all was gone. This was the day y'all left. Oh, the next day. But I do got to say, though, 
Hey, y'all Uber each uh, people that drive the car, they trash. Just want to pull it up on us, bro. <laughs> yeah, tell it. Go ahead, bro. Bro, <laughs> bro she had her windows up. She had a window up, right? We know that's the Uber. We see our food in her passenger seat. She in there arguing on the phone, nigga. <laughs> arguing, dying on the phone. We went in the car looking at her like, hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Just give us our food. You can handle your business, right? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it took a second to give us our food. Bro. Say, and don't act like I didn't see the bitch name for like in your phone minutes, last night bro. when you was me and Smooth outside the whip play. Oh my god! So you tell me y'all was intimidated to say, uh, <laughs> "Can I get <laughs> bitch ass?" <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, we looking like is it is that our food? <laughs> is somebody else on some pie No, I'm just saying, just for a black establishment, a lot of them that I've been to, the just the customer service has been trash. And it's very disappointing. It don't mean I won't support, but it's kind of. Like damn, why I keep on going? Okay, this of course it I kind of I kind of want to know. I just want to know because is it because of black establishment? Are we making everything from scratch? Is that why it takes us so long to get our food? Because at most of black establishments, it's gonna take you a minute to get your food I, compared I, to other places. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't I confirm wonder, more than that. Yeah, I don't because know. I, I I think other establishments are know how to prepare their food. Right, they take the due diligence and time to understand the workings of how this. How the restaurant will go well. Mm-hmm. What, how, how do I need to prep? How, how far ahead I need to prep? How do my employees need to work? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the right way about going about your restaurants. A lot of black establishments, they're just like, hey, let me just get the restaurant up. Get the get the menu up. Let me play some music. And, get the ass shaking. Play, play some music. Get a hookah. And then find some kids to come wait for me. And they just learn how to wait on the way. You know, a lot of white establishments, they're not about that shit. Hey, you, we going to train you. You're going to sit there. You're going to train. <laughs> Follow right. me for at least two weeks. Mm-hmm. And we're going to find out, hey, you got to do this. You got to do that. Let me come check on this. Let me come check on that. What's on the menu? What's not? And that's how it goes. But I don't know. I just feel like for me, per- that's my experience. I don't know. Y'all so experience that's, probably that's, the same way. My, but My yeah. experience, we always get our food. It take a little bit longer. It is good. A lot of Oftentimes it is that very true. good. That's it's it's good because they starve you to but fucking it takes, death. But yeah, but it food. always takes longer. You know what I'm saying? Customer service a little bit slower. It may be one person in ten tables. You know what I'm saying? Cash register, my, you know, lady might have a little attitude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For you know real, I mean? they may not have you know the 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 beverages that the menu say they have. They out of four things on the menu. You no, know, always out of them. Take nap- them off the menu. N- napkins are real thin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's a lot like of that. We cutting a lot of corners. We do. Yeah, we do. Which is not wrong with cutting the corners, but if the customer service is right, right, we ain't gonna trip. Exactly. The customer service be trash, and you cutting corners. Right. It's like, come on, my nigga. Right. But yeah, you know, we say all that to say, man, y'all boys step up y'all uh, situations out there because it's not just restaurants, it's clothing companies. It's everywhere, it's, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot. If we're just going to keep it honest again, just like Smooth said, we cannot progress if we are not willing to hold each other accountable. Mm-hmm. We got to do that. Holding and then shoes I'm, for niggas, then you wonder why your shoe store going out of business in four months. Right. Come on, bro. If you let everybody eat, everybody going to spend money with you. If you only let a few people eat, oh, you depending on a few people to come spend money with you. You gotta remember that. Stop holding down shit for other shit niggas to have. Spread the spread the wealth, spread the product around. You gonna get your money coming through because everybody gonna fuck with you. Facts. But all that to say, you still need to dress appropriate when you go ask go to restaurants. Period. Mm -hmm. So I get the the dress code. Maybe they didn't have to label it as details they did. But if it's a family established restaurant, you shouldn't be going to no restaurant. And no bra panties with see through, man. I showing just, your ass. I was at Ruth Chris yesterday. You should have seen some of the outfits in it. They was wild. You know it's man. You got it. Shouldn't be, bro. You trying, trying to eat a nice dinner? That's for that's there, for the strip man. club. That's for the that's for so that's that's not for where I'm trying to just eat and relax and have a good time. That's not for that. I'm sorry. You can look cute. You can look fine all you want, but that's not. I don't know. That's just me. That's my opinion. All right, man. On that note. We're going to get into the quick hit segment. We got two quick ones, but they are very, very important ones. Um, First one, thinking back to your childhood, were you taught how to be a husband? And if not, how did you learn? Hell no. Hell no. I was taught to be a kid. Just enjoy life and have fun. I wasn't thinking about no damn marriage. I wasn't even thinking about women. Or girls. I was just enjoying life. Playing sports. Playing video games. Failing in school. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I was just taught to survive, I guess. That's it. 
Never taught to be no no man to nothing, no type of woman, nothing. Mm-hmm. Husband material. Shit, she, that's I come from a dysfunctional household. Didn't know what that looked like. I knew what not to do. Right. That's what it taught me. You know what I'm saying? But as far as being taught like like husband material shit, I don't even like like to this day, me and my pop talking shit. But we don't talk about no marriage shit. We don't talk about no no father shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It, ain't, it ain't shit you could teach me. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, to be honest with you, I feel like I'm above him in it. Mm. There's nothing you can you can teach me. I, I can teach you everything you need to know. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it. It's, you know what I'm saying? I always looked at my uh, my boys' uh, uh, people and their marriages and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that, that, that was my examples of what, what I wanted as far as goals. But as far as being taught it, hell no. Hell no. Nah, I wasn't. I wasn't taught. I mean, it was just more of a happy wife, happy life. That's all we was always taught. If your wife happy, you good. And I always pushed back on that because I was always like, well, what about me? Like, I don't matter in this relationship. That's shit. That's, I ain't going to say that's why I'm single, but at the same time, it's like it's it's a two-way street. I've always been like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't mind giving you my all. I'll go a 1,000%. But if I'm going to go a thousand percent, I'm going to need you to do something. Right. I understand that you're not going to be able to carry it all. But again, you can do something. You know what I'm saying? You, I like, I mean, I like using examples. So like if you have a, if you have a, you know what I'm saying? A, a football team, you know what I'm saying? You got 52 players on the roster. Everybody not going to be the star player. Everybody not going to be the starter. But guess what? When you do come in, when you do have to sub in and make a couple plays, you got to do your job. You have to give your all. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times that don't happen. So, like, you can have, I feel like you can have a, a lopsided, not saying, yeah, I can say lopsided. You can kind of have a lopsided marriage, but if it works, you know what I'm saying? Like, one person can do more than the other, but that other person, whatever small thing they do, has to be big, has to, you know what I'm saying, fit in that relationship. Right. And a lot of times that don't happen. Is it healthy for our relationship? Period. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna have to agree, with my guys. I don't, I don't feel like I was taught how to be a husband. I feel like I was taught how to provide. Yep, I seen an example of that, and that's what a lot of men in generations before us was taught. So, I mean, you can't really blame. I can't really blame my pops because, again, you can't give what you ain't got. You know, if you if you taught that you know being a man or being a husband in the house is just you paying all the bills and you know making sure everybody's straight, protecting the crib, paying bills. That's it. But as far as, like, connecting with your woman on the emotional level, having emotional intelligence, you know, understanding different things as far as, like, how, you know, her mood is and whatever the case may be, and you trying to, you know, move in a in a manner communication-wise that's, like, productive to the relationship, that's something that I had to figure out on my own, you know. And um, I think that's the, the issue with a lot of men, uh, especially black men. Because, <clears throat> for one, a lot of our fathers are not really in the home, if we're just going to be honest. Um, for a myriad of reasons that we're not going to really get into, but we don't really see I- I examples of how to be like a great man to your woman. That's just something that we kind of get taught when we have a girl. And and it's messed up because a lot of times, coming from their perspective, they don't really know what that looks like either. So right. they just going to tell us what they want. And we uh, assume they just, we assume they know. Right. Right. So that, that contributes to the dysfunction that's in the black household, but... Um, you know, going forward, I I definitely want to want to change that. If I if I have a son, I'm a, I'm gonna teach him the whole thing, not just mm-hmm. to provide, but like how to connect with your girl on an emotional level. I'm gonna teach him mm-hmm. patience. I'm gonna teach him, you know, hey man, you know, you, you know, you need to make sure that that you and not only her, but that you good and that you're able to communicate your feelings to her. Because mm-hmm. I feel like that's another thing that that we not taught. Like growing up, you know, we just taught, hey, you are the man. So you don't really get room to complain or you don't really get room to express yourself like in a vulnerable level, whatever the case may be. Tell your girl what she's not doing. Like it's not like a, a clear, uh, safe space to communicate in regards mm-hmm. to the man. So we taught that and that makes us emotionless to an extent. Or commit suicide. That's or why that. suicide mm-hmm. rates are so high. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, so I, I think definitely going forward, we got to do a better job um, in that, in that realm and, and, Teaching us how to be husbands and teaching us how to be boyfriends, not just how to get a job and get money. And I feel like that's more what we taught than than, than, than anything. I think right now we're in a better time, perfect time, at least for us and our generation, because I feel like we, for the most part, have seen the extremes of both sides. Mm -hmm. It's either he's taking care of everything and he's super toxic and it's just his way, Mm -hmm. 
or is just a quote unquote sucker or what you right. know what I'm saying <laughs> where the woman runs relationship mm-hmm. and he's the he's the good man he just he's he's the yes man yes dear whatever you want you got it da, da, da. you know what I'm saying and, and it's like both ways it's like I don't want that but I damn sure don't want you know I'm this other side over Shit, here I even had that so now I had we, a nigga that was just like us he was a child too mm. It was a child for mm-hmm. 20 years. Yeah. 20, 20, 23 years of some shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, hell no. Yeah. He barely worked. If he did work, he stole some money from the job or quit the job after he got paid twice. Or... Yeah, we was dealing with some fuck shit, bro. <laughs> we were dealing with some fuck. I was like, ah, right, nigga, as long as I'm going the opposite way of you, I'm good. I'm perfect. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the most part, that, that happy wife, happy life shit, like, for the most part, that's all what we've been told. And it's like, but when you see it, it's like that he's not really happy. He hurting on the inside. Mm-hmm. And that's why I, that's why I feel like men die way before women do yes. in terms of like our, our mortality rate. Yes. It's because we keep so much stuff in and it, it stresses us out over over time, especially. Like that's why when they, they get them stacks about, oh men, you know, have a better you know, in terms of marriage, men stand to gain more from being married benefits wise. Like, oh, they live longer when they marry. They, you know, they happier when they marry. Like, judging by who? Like, a, a man in a relationship, like most men in a relationship, especially marriage, is not going <laughs> to admit that he's not happy. If, you know, if they not beefing, mm-hmm. he's going to admit, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. But in reality, he's not for real because mm-hmm. he don't feel heard or he don't feel like he got a, a true voice. He feel like a wallet. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's just it a wallet and a sounding board for her issues. Right. But rarely ever do he get to communicate, you know, how he feeling, you know. So I, you know, that that right there got to change, and, and that's what we need to teach our kids going going forward, man. Being a great man, being a great husband is about more than just providing financially. Facts. Teaching our daughters, man. Hey, ask your man, is he good? Make sure he good. Right. Make sure you you goddamn me care about his happiness. Right. When they start doing that, then they have a way way better relationship. Way yeah. better relationship. And the wild part is that it speaks to that that selfishness thing that I, I was talking about. I was in the clubhouse room the other day. We was discussing dates and shit, and they was talking like you know, typically on on most dates, the man is typically asking the woman all the questions, and he kind of listening to her talk. Right. That's the, that's the dynamics of the date. So they they was like you know interviewing certain dudes or certain dudes came on stage or whatever, and they was like you said yeah man I was I was on a date with a chick for like four hours, and I might have got ten words in, and she didn't she didn't ask me one question about anything that I liked or anything that I'm aspiring for. But, like, I was trying to, like, keep the combo going. Hey, what do you like? What do you aspire to do? You know, your job, you know, your family. How'd you grow up? This and the third. Like, the man had to ask all the questions. And he said, we was on a date for four hours. I said 10 words. And I feel like that's the, that's how shit really goes. Like, a lot of women really go into relationships with that mindset. Like, it's about what you can do for me. Or it's about my feelings. It's about my this, my that, my, 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 my. And then, you know, every now and again, I sort of, okay, Father's Day. Christmas, maybe birthday, maybe I buy you something. But you know, a lot of men don't don't feel like we get heard or we or that we appreciate it, and that shit got to change. But but yeah, no, I thought I thought that was a dope question. But we're gonna move on to the next one. Um, were you taught? Where were you taught what it means to lead, and what type of leadership style do you have? To lead, yep. I was more so taught at work. <clears throat> just having to manage different staff, different employees, different personalities. Mm-hmm. Like it's just so much that like you, you, you can't assume, you know what I'm saying? You got to always take a step back and get all the information, all the detail, gather all that, and then assess the problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go off of what, because, because some, there, there are some days where somebody will just do something random and just off it and, and it ain't in their character. So you got to find out like what was wrong with them, what's been going on, or it could be anything. Right. So I've learned a lot more patience, a lot more, learned a lot about understanding, uh, learned a lot about just asking questions to get what you're trying to find out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes they may have issues and they don't know. So it's open asking those open ended questions, trying to get the answer that you really want, mm-hmm. but you allowing them to express themselves. And they can find a solution themselves, too. So that helped me, you know what I'm saying, from work, you know, translating that into a relationship. And some people don't like it. Some do. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, everybody's different. Right. But 
to be able to ask him questions and to really understand people and really get into their brain about why they do things or how they do things, I think that's huge in a relationship. Because some people don't, don't, don't know themselves because they've never been asked certain questions. Mm-hmm. They may get asked the surface of a question, but it's, then it's like, okay, well, why this? You know? And then you ask another question, okay, well, why? Well, why? Like, you keep asking why until you get down, like, to the bottom of it. And then they're like, okay, now. Now that makes sense. Mm. So all I had to ask you five, six, seven, eight questions to get to the bottom of it a lot of times. So some, it, it takes a lot of patience. And, I, and leadership takes patience. Leadership takes understanding. Um, leadership takes admitting to being wrong. Mm. Leadership takes, you know what I'm saying, taking chances. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot that goes into it, and everybody can't do it. Um, so so what is your leadership style, would you say, if you had to summarize it? I don't know. I would need some categories to really really dive down. But I'm more – my leadership style is more um, – I, w- I would say really just laid back. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to tell you what the expectations are. I'm going to tell you what I like, what I don't like. And I'm going to give you that free reign. I don't want you feeling like there's pressure, like, oh, I can't do this, or oh, I can't do that. No, I want you to be yourself 100%. And if you can't be yourself, then I, I don't need you. Or I, or I don't want to say I don't need you, but that's, it doesn't match me. Mm. That's all it is. I want you to be you 100% of the time. I want you to be comfortable. I don't want you faking nothing. I don't want you thinking that I'm going to feel a certain way if you do something I don't like. Like, if you, you rock with you, we're, we're, we're two people, we're two separate people working together. So you still have your own identity. Mm-hmm. Be you, whatever makes you happy. Now, if that doesn't match me, that's cool. We we just have to have the understanding. But still, be you. Don't change. And, and it's the same in relationships. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, just want to make sure. Smooth. Oh man, where did you learn how to lead, and and what is your leadership style? When did I learn how to lead? Where or where? how? Just going through it, man. Mm. Just going through it. I'm saying picking up lessons of what to do, what not to do, what my wife like, what she don't like. She finally expressing my feelings, how I really feel about shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, she most of the time I'm laid back on my leadership. I'm, I'm with whatever. I'm with whatever, however, whenever. You know and, what I'm saying? Until you ain't. Shit, I'm not. I'm shit with my with my wife. I'm not never like hell. Now nah, I don't know shit. Mm-hmm. Because anything my wife thinking about is about us. You know what I'm saying? Like if my wife could, she would spend every bit of her time with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So on her side, I, I understand it. I understand it. You know okay, so here's, here's a question. Because we all have, have reached a level of influence. Mm-hmm. So outside of the marriage, when you mentoring niggas and when you talking to niggas, I'm sure niggas ask you for advice. I'm sure like they ask all of us, DMs, different things like that. What is your leadership style in terms of that? I mean, I just I just tell them to get themselves together, man. Know who they are, know exactly who they are. You know what I'm saying? And then when you do start dating a woman or you into a woman, like what does she value? You know what I'm saying? Because if you if you a person that 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 don't like material shit, you are not really materialistic, and then you go get you a materialistic woman, y'all not gonna jail, right? Y'all not because she cares about the glam. And then vice versa. If you are materialistic, but your girl don't like wearing jewelry or wearing designer, she she cool with going to uh goddamn uh what that shit is uh rainbow and shit like that. Y'all gonna bump heads on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want your shit to last, you need somebody that don't care about the the, the limelight and yourself. You shouldn't care about the limelight in within your marriage. Now when you out here, say you a popular nigga and you out here, that's your life. But when you with your woman, you got to separate those things and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like these days we going into the age of women that's, that's Instagram models or TikTok, TikTok uh, famous. <laughs> you got to be able to separate that from your love life. Right. Because that none of that carries weight in your love life, in your marriage. None of that carries any weight. They can give Zero. a fuck about that. When you, you got the right one. When you got the right yeah. one. You're right. You know what I'm saying? So that that's my leadership. That's what I tell them. That's... You know what I'm saying? You want your shit to last, pick something that match with you. That match with you. Because then if she do decide to leave or he do decide to leave, you'll respect it more. Well said. Kenny, where did you learn how to lead? 
who or what influenced you to be the leader that you are? And what is your style? Uh, I say my style of leadership is I lead by example. I'm not going to force nobody to do something that I can't show them or prove it. <clears throat> show them the way first. Right. I'm not going to tell them to go do something and I can't even prove that I've done this or can do this. And then after that, then if you come with a, a, another way of how to do this, you know, safely or comfortably or easier, work smarter, not harder, then, you know, I'm, I'm not the type of leader to say, okay, yeah, well, listen, let's do it this way. Mm-hmm. Let's do it that way. But I'm not the type of leader to just say, hey, go go do this. And when you come back, you do it a certain way, but it takes you three hours. Now I'm mad because it took you so long and I could do this in five minutes, but I never showed you that way. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't go that way. So I'm, I'm more of a lead by example. Uh, when it comes to relationship wise though, uh, lead being a leader, uh, every relationship is different. I mean, you can't, there's no perfect way to lead. I don't think there is a leader in a relationship. It's a partnership. It's, it's no, <laughs> You might be better at certain tasks, but you're not the leader in, in the relationship. You know, everybody's, they're one. They're, everybody has their one thing that they're good at or there are many things that they're good at that they're better than you at, but nobody leads the relationship. Y'all, y'all are added together, in right. my opinion. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't play the role of leaders in relationship. Where did you feel like you learned, it, learned that, that, that style from or learned how to lead from? Mm, I think that's just experience experience or how I am. I don't mm-hmm. think I learned it from anybody. I, th- I, I think I just, you know, going throughout life, you you change as a person. Right. So as you change, the things that you like start to change as well. And you're not the same. So, I mean, the styles of things that you, you want from a person changes and now you don't want this. You, when you used to want that, this was your top notch. Now it's like, damn, that shit is annoying. Right. You know? Like, so I do I don't know. I'm, I'm just stuck in a crosshair between what a leader is in a relationship. Be honest. Well said. Um, me, I would say I, I always had like a, a a love hate relationship with the whole leadership thing. Um, of course, I was taught by my parents to you know always do your own thing, like don't follow nobody. You know what I'm saying? So that that's something that I that I got from my mom and daddy real real early. And it was ingrained in me. But I'm the type of person where I never wanted to be a leader. I still don't. I believe in just doing what I want to do and moving the way I want to move. And, and ironically, a lot of people just like to follow that type of person. So I've always kind of been forced into a leadership role. But as far as like, you know, people, my guys here sitting can tell you, I'm not really a people person. I don't really like people like that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm cordial. I can be cordial. I can engage you in conversation this and the third, but I'm going to hate it the whole time until, you know, unless it's like some conversation that like really pulls me a certain way. And then it's like, okay, now I'm, now I'm engaged. But, uh, for the, for the most part, I don't, I don't, I don't like to lead people. I don't, I, because I don't, I don't like to be liable for other people's results. Yep. And, um, but you know, again, um, growing up, it was just always kind of thrust into my lap. So I learned my leadership style through trial and error. I would just do my own thing and then expect people to just be able to do it the way I do it. And if you can't, then I'm, I'm super frustrated. Like how, like, what are you, you know what I'm saying? So I think over time I learned to be a little more patient. Um, but I mean, it's still, even to this day, it's a lead by example type thing. I'm not the rah, rah guy. Even when I was playing sports, and playing football and shit, I'm not the guy in the middle of the huddle that's, you know, yelling, let's go, slapping helmets, all that other bullshit. Like, that's that's not me. I'm going to be the guy that's kind of off to myself, just kind of pacing and just gathering myself and taking everything in. And then when it's game time, I just turn it on type of situation. And that's how I live life, um, whether it be in the streets or whether it be in my relationship. I, I lead my relationship the same way I lead anything else. I lead by example. You know what I'm saying? My wife is, is you know, uh, uh, strong minded on her own, so I don't really have to like guide her or hey, do this, do that, do this, do that, because she she has shit figured out on her own. She has ideas of her own. So when we come together, you know, it, just like Kenny said, it's a partnership. It's not a you know, hey, we gonna go with my decision because I'm the man, I'm the I'm the leader here. I don't I don't I never felt the need to firmly just establish the fact that I'm leading this thing. I feel like people who do that are not really leaders. They are posturing or they are posing. 
When you're a real leader, you just do your thing and, and everybody is going to see the result. Okay, this nigga constantly winning. He constantly is successful in what he's doing. So what is he doing? So let me follow it. Let me let me tune in. Let me chime into it. And that's always been my style. Or where did I learn it from? You know, trial and error. But I learned, like, not to follow people from my parents. I, I, I've never followed nobody. I didn't, I, I you know, drugs and that type of shit. I, didn't, I, I was never that person. I didn't do that. I didn't start drinking until I was 20 or 21. You know what I'm saying? So... Towards everybody around me smoking weed. Oh, bro, you want to? Nah, nah, I'm, I'm cool. That's, that's just not really my thing. I just don't want to do it. You don't want to drink? Nah, I'm cool. Ask them. They, they try to give me a drink before they, Nah, I'm, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I, I just always went my, my own way. So that would be my style. And again, trial and error um, is, is where I learned how I adapt. I mean, how I learned my new leadership style. But uh, yeah, you know, so I thought that was a dope question. But on that note, man, we're going to get into the advice column. All right, man. First uh, question. This is from Larry Jackson, Patreon member. <laughs> Folks say, why do women be so pressed for a man to get their name tatted on him? Huh? I ain't never what? heard that. What, what type of women are you dealing with, bro? <laughs> what, 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 what was the question? He say, why do women be so well, pressed I mean, for being to get their name tatted oh, on him? Shoot. Who's going tat my that? name on you so I know it's real? Ross Drake. Yeah, that was Ross. Drake. Yeah, it was Ross and Drake. But no, I ain't never had that know. question. I ain't never had somebody tap me on them. Mm. Back in younger days. I don't know. I've, 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 I've heard that. Yeah, I've, I've heard it. I, I just hadn't experienced it myself. But not, but not now. Nowadays, I don't hear it too much. But I mean, I'm a different age group. I mean, yeah, I don't, name's tatted, isn't I don't believe in that type of thing. I mean, unless you married. Y'all been married. For years, I got kids. I got you know. Okay, but girlfriend, no, no. never. That's no. that's never gonna happen. I don't. I don't care. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you. And anybody priorities is like that. I feel like it's a bit of insecurity though. Like anybody that tells you, "Hey, I want you to get my I name know somebody tattooed with you. five niggas' names on them." Oh, uh, God. Oh, that's insane, insane, bro. Damn, Damn. Okay. library book. Y'all know they put the resume on anybody. <laughs> Y'all know. Insane. We know them. Two, or three of us them. went to school with them. Oh, well, they all know. But we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> that is insane nah. to me, bro. I ain't going to even lie. Yeah, nah. Hell nah, bro. So um, my advice would be to uh, get you some more mature women, bro. Because mature women don't give two fucks hell about you no. getting their name tatted on them, bro. Of course, they're going to appreciate it if you do it. But they're not going to like, you idiot. Like, like, come on, like you like, owe me or something. I hope you don't think I'm getting your name tatted on me. Exactly. <laughs> you know that ain't going. Peewee ain't going to like that. <laughs> <laughs> Pee Wee out here thriving. Let's give the Pee Wee a round of applause. Out right here providing great toxicity to the we community. Take care of some bills around here. Folk out here providing great that's, toxicity that's to Brian. the community. Pee Wee ain't providing the bill. That's Brian. Straight up. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, this is from Tia, Patreon member. It's crack. Uh, she says, hello, crew season. Great content. I always look forward to tuning into the podcast. Uh, in your previous or current relationship, did you feel comfortable being vulnerable with a woman? Do you no. find yourself experiencing a lack of empathy or understanding when expressing your feelings? Men are taught to be tough. My brother says women don't know how to respond when a man shows emotions. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? That's a fact. 100%. Your brother didn't lie. Yep. I agree. I don't, I don't think we know how to express our emotions correctly either. Because we never really had to do it. But at the same time, no, I don't think women know how to handle that. I really don't. Yeah. I think it's really a shocker to them on there. And like, oh, shit. I'm supposed to be the one, you know, sobbing and crying. And right. now I'm on this end. And this man over here is crying to me. And they look at you a certain way, I think. Yeah, I agree, man. Me and my old lady been together thirteen years. I still don't feel comfortable being super vulnerable around her. It's, a fact. it's just I don't know. It's just how we wired. It's, it's how we raised. Like you just raised to where you man just don't do that, and Society. and that's and that's toxic. Society. Yeah, it's it's super un, unhealthy. It just goes back to what we said earlier about the the you know black man suicide rates and different things like that. But yeah, it's it's tough. So to answer the question, do I did I ever feel comfortable feeling vulnerable? No. And in regards to is your brother right? Yes. Because and it's not really they fault, not really women's fault that they're not comfortable with a man expressing himself. They're just not used to it either. Because most men don't do it. 
So when a man just comes to you and just lays everything out on the table, he crying. If you don't have no experience with that, how are you going to know how to handle it? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, man. You can't I'm, just drop to your knees on that kind of situation. With me, I'm, I'm it's it's kind of I'm on the fence only because like there's been certain situations where I, I wasn't crying or nothing, but I'm just expressing how I feel and just tell you how I feel. But the woman isn't used to that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She's not used to you telling you telling her you know how much she's appreciated and adored and how much. You know, she's helped you grow and opened your eyes. And, like, it's just, like, certain different things. Like, a lot of women aren't used to that. So, I personally had that problem, like, early on because just how I was raised. Just speak your mind. You know, say what it is. And a lot of women aren't just used to that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so, one of my relationships, you know, after the fact, she told me, like, you know, it, it was different for her. And she wasn't used to that. So, she didn't know how to feel about it. And I'm like... What you mean? Like I'm just so you left a good man on the table because of that. Yeah, she did. But anyway, yeah. um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, I was again. I was just saying, like, shit. This is how I feel. Like I'm not ain't, ain't no soft shit about it. It's just this is what it is. Like this is reality. Mm-hmm. Like I'm still gonna be the same person. We still gonna hang out. We still gonna do you know nice things and kick it and yada yada. But like this is just what it is. And but she wasn't used to that type of stuff. She was used to being like a dude being closed off, or she got to dig for it, or. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't just used to me just coming out and saying, hey, you know what? This is how I feel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Here's a here's a question. Do y'all feel less than a man when y'all do? Nope. No, I don't. Cause I, I mean, nope. if, I, if I can do that, I feel comfortable. I'm 100% mm-hmm. comfortable. Mm-hmm. If I can't do that with you, I shouldn't be around if you. If a man is giving you his heart verbally, that is gold for a woman. That is gold. You say heart what? Huh? Verbally. 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 Cause most niggas For real <laughs> for I try to save him He walk right back into it I try to save him He walk right back into it That's for real Verbally Verbally Oh <laughs> I put out the education I put out the education man. The they school. know what I mean <laughs> That's facts though Verbatim <laughs> <laughs> nah, but he he, he, he right, but 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 again, I'm not I'm not asking in that context. I'm talking about mm-hmm. you, just strictly in 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 your mind. Like when you been when because we yes, all I'm stumbled yes. into doing it, right? That's what I was yes. gonna say. Yeah, like cool like 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 when you when you're in that situation, and it, it's rare, but sometimes you know y'all done had the hard down discussion. It may not even be an argument. It may just be a super discussion, and you like, damn, wait a minute, I'm getting super vulnerable right now. Mm. Do in those moments, do you feel like you're less than a man? Yes, no. I do. Yes, I, I say that's the problem. Right, but yes, yeah. it's, it's it's you got to work on it, yeah. you know, because you have to continuously do it for you to become comfortable with something that you're uncomfortable with. But yeah, I would definitely say you feel less like a man. That's why we don't do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you make you feel less like a man. I when don't. You, when you come out like that, you're like, oh shit. I you don't. Know, you kind of. I just like I said again. I just how I how I always seen it. It just I'm telling like it is. Like this is just how I feel. I don't. It don't matter. I'm I'm a dude, but I'm just telling like it is. Matter of fact, I can remember one time, me and you was at Prospect, and you was reading my text messages. You was like, you're like damn, mom. You was like, this yours or hers? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true though. That's I true. Was like shit, but That's I mean, it, I was just you know what I'm saying. I was just laying out like it was, like it was just facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. that's how you, I, this is how was, I feel about you. You doing it through text, though. Right. It's different it's in different. person. But, I mean, you know, we going back and forth. And, you know yeah, what I'm saying? But text and, and... Okay, question. Have have, have, you, have y'all ever cried in front of y'all woman? Mm. Yeah. I have before. Yeah. I've only cried in front of one woman. And in those moments... And I remember when you told us I you did. didn't. In that moment, I didn't. Did y'all feel less than a man? I didn't in that moment. Nah. Wow. In that moment, I didn't because the moment that happened with me... It was just a, it was more of a time thing. Like she really went out of her way to show appreciation mm-hmm. and to make me feel comfortable because it was a like I was having a bad day, rough week. You know what I'm saying? I was just I was down that that week, and she knew what you know what I'm saying. Cause it, it was around it was around my pop's birthday, mm-hmm. and so she did something like super special for me. And like I was like, damn, mm-hmm. I was like, ain't nobody ever thought about me this much to go out their way to do something for me. Damn. And so I just broke down. Like I just I gave her a big ass hug and I was just like, damn, like as soon as I hugged her, it's like it was like an energy transfer and I was released. Like, yeah. And I was like, I can't you know what I'm saying? Fuck all this shit. But 
No, it was it was good though. It was no, so no, I didn't, I didn't. It was, I felt like it was natural. It it happened. You know what I'm saying? And shit, it was, was what it was. Yeah, see, man, that it's like Kenny. So I feel like that's some something, something I got to work on. It's just mm-hmm. it's certain things when it happen, it just makes me feel super uncomfortable. It makes me feel like I'm out of my comfort zone because again, I'm naturally just a it's a cool, laid back, you know, cocky, sarcastic kind of guy. So when you reach that level of vulnerability, it's like it's like stepping out in in the water, nigga, trying to balance on a broomstick. Mm. It's just uncomfortable. It's like what? I'm not. I don't know where this is gonna go. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's uncomfortable. But Kitty, right? That I gotta change. That's that's our problem, and I that's feel true. like that's why we don't really be able to connect with our women the way we should. Yeah. Because we be assuming that they just gonna judge us or they gonna throw it in our face later on. But some women is, is not cut like that. Some mm-hmm. women is just going to hold you down. They're going to preach just like you just said. They're going to they they appreciate they that. They want that, yeah. And it's like, you know, but yeah, work work got to be done on all sides. Uh, and we're back. <laughs> um, I had to go ahead and become a Patreon member because I want first priority. Yes, I want to be anonymous. Hold up. Press this break button. Nah, damn. She said, one of y'all answer this. I'm catching up on y'all's episodes, and I'm on the entrapment episode. I haven't finished it, but I didn't hear y'all say nothing about what if the woman's sex drive is higher than the man's? Can the woman get a hall pass if her husband, boyfriend, or significant other is not meeting the bar sexually? In my case, as I mentioned previously, my dude can go weeks without some ass, and that's no exaggeration. He don't want me sharing the, the JJ with nobody else. Then he needs to consider my needs. Mm. However, I might receive some backlash on this. He loves head more than the ass. Mm. And I'm not big on oral. Mm. I do it every now and again because I know he prefers it over sex to hear him make noises and see his face expressions. But other than that, where's my nut once he's done? Yeah, yeah. Now I got to click. Zzz <laughs> to say, I don't mean to be personal, but hey. This happens to a lot of women I know. So either Otis, AC, KT, or the Dean needs to answer this. She needs that thing scratched. Look at the bottom part. Look at the bottom. Okay. Uh, smooth response. Say this. No, no, no. The bottom bottom. Go to the bottom bottom. Oh, she said, oh, wait. I forgot to mention we're married with three kids to give some context. Maybe that's another factor. <laughs> Damn, Damn, that, no. per, that per worn out. <laughs> Wow. You gonna blame it on her? You gonna blame it on her? That's why I asked. That's why I said the reason why. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, 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 that. No, that's your real feelings. Stand, Stand on, on that. Feelings. Finally got his ass. Stand on that. Come on. Um, Damn. Wow. That bird don't purr no more than his. <laughs> nah, he got to deliver. Damn! If you're just dry, <laughs> just say that. Just say that. <laughs> oh, hey, that's damn. crazy. Damn no! It took three kids to realize y'all not sexually compatible. Like that. That's my question, bro. He like head. You don't like giving head. That's first off for me. That's never gonna work. Maybe he just want no more kids, and he like, dang. Let me just avoid trying to have sex. What? If we have sex, you popping out another kid. But then at the same you, you can go get a vasectomy. That's what I was about to say. You, you just said it. Oh, damn. Three damn, three kids. Or I she, mean, was it always like this? Or, or she did can get them tied? Did it just start happening? She can get them tied. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe you just He get a vasectomy, she get the two tied, and boom. There you go. Have y'all changed physically? Have uh it's possible. Well, they definitely if she had three kids, they definitely changed you physically. Know, have, three kids. You know, have y'all, you know, tried to make the bedroom fun again? I mean And they married too. Y'all you married. know what's funny? Yeah, I mean, y'all can't just be having. You know no, what I'm saying? You got to make that. the bedroom fun. I kind of. But feel he say like, he like head though. She say yeah. he like head. I, I feel fact. like we got two Patreon members that's married together that's sending in separate questions. Hey, that's that is what it, <laughs> it <is>. might be. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. But that's funny though. But and they be. beefing on him <laughs> anonymously. Anonymous. <laughs> that man. That man says your oral game is subpar. It's up to par. That <laughs> vagina But the purr ain't purring It ain't <laughs> It ain't Damn. gripping like it used to don't be gripping and fart They gripping and fart <laughs> <laughs> no, that, was, no, that was the funniest <laughs> Gripping and fart Gripping and fart That boy's a fool Hell um, no why y'all stupid like that, dog? <laughs> like maybe, maybe maybe he's stressing out Maybe the, too many kids you know, I, I don't know 
Money. Do no, you deserve a hall pass? Yeah, yeah. yeah. what she asked. She said, because y'all talk about weeks. men deserve a hall pass. She said, does she? He can go weeks without it. This, That's yeah. crazy. I say, That's yeah. Crazy. When y'all yeah. going on? I uh, say yeah. So we gotta keep the same energy. Nah, folks. You, 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 you gotta got, keep you that got, same energy, dog. Just go ahead and go to the the, uh, the court and get those divorce papers ready. You go yeah. ahead and get a hall pass. Y'all might as well go ahead and set up a divorce. That's real. That's all shit, I got man. to say. That's real. I don't I know about divorce. I say just a if holler at now. Man. If she go, see if she, she, about she, a hall pass for what? To go get some more dick? Yes. One time. But hold on. Is she? Are they initiating sex? Is he just saying he's just too tired? Like, is she getting turned down? Yeah. Because that's the difference between us. Like, maybe, because it could be that she just not pursuing the sex, and they just, he too tired or something like that. With us, a lot of times, we going to find a way to try to initiate sex. We going to try to pepper them up and take them out to eat, and, da, 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 and they just made shit still just not be in the mood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We try to find ways to still get them draws yeah. if we can. That's real. So, she could just not be... You know what I'm saying? Maybe as, she as demanding, of, as aggressive. Maybe, maybe. she's tired of initiating the sex all the time. It, it's possible. That's possible. It's possible. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not taking it out of the equation. Mm. And That's Pee-wee possible. ready to initiate some sex. You need but to hey, go find your Pee-wee, man. If she need that itch to be scratched, and he ain't scratching. A hall pass? I don't even recommend a man getting a hall pass. So, I mean. But if you're getting it once every three weeks. No, she said but what's weeks. The, what's the hall pass going to do? A, a one, if you really like sex, that one time ain't going to fulfill you. Right, you're going to come back and have the same problem. It's yeah. just yeah. sex. It's just some skin. Did we say that? It's no, we skin. never no, said we that. never said that. Bro. That's not me. <laughs> it's just we, some skin. This is not it's French class. Skin, we nigga. didn't say nothing. Did we say that? that wasn't bro, <laughs> we ain't no we in that. My nigga say it's just some skin. Yeah, I can't get nobody skin. no hall pass and the man come in harder than peppercorn. Trying to lay some pipe on my wife. Uh, <laughs> not him. Not the him. nigga Kenny said last night. Nigga said that nigga harder than a uh, can, candy corn. Candy, candy corn. 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 It ain't happening But Mm-mm. but yeah, I mean again And that's why I be preaching on Sexual, sexual compatibility So much bro Like I'm sure du- They got three kids They I'm sure dude Doing everything goes right But she oh, not being Pleased sexually So look at what Her mind is bro I know <laughs> That's what I'm saying So people be Oh why sex ain't that important It's not It shouldn't be that high That's a, that's lie. a lie That's a lie Cause again This man probably go to work 12 hours a day He doing his thing He paying bills He taking care of his kids He in her life but he not giving her as much. She want to be slutted out. She want to get. She want to be slutted and out. She think about walking to another dude to get it. She want him to sit it on her face. Hold her face. <laughs> That's why I say yeah. sexual compatibility is everything. But as far as I, I advice, I, I, we can't really tell you no. Because he, he like what he like. It ain't no. Like, we can't tell you, okay, you need to convince him to like the ass more than head. Yeah. We know you don't like giving head. That's what that man like. Mm-hmm. And y'all married, and you and you knew that. And this is another thing: y'all three kids in. You knew that. <laughs> yeah, how long you been knowing he don't like? You knew that. And he like head, and you don't like giving head. That's a red flag. Oh, right there. I feel like something, I feel like something happened to it. That ain't gonna make it better. Off sexually, I, I feel like cause three three kids, it's have, possible, but it, that ain't kids, gonna make it better. Fucking you, three kids. You know three kids. They been fucking. Three kids. They Three. What, what happened to the physical appearance? What What happened to you know? It's a lot of shit that go into that. What if she gained weight? I mean, yeah, yeah or, or, or he did, or he just don't, or, feel, he, or he just don't feel the part no more. He just, you know, big fat slob sitting in the bed, yeah, carrying the he load. Saying, I'm yeah, he's he tired because he weighed three hundred forty pounds. You know that's what I'm true. saying? That, See, I've been putting you messing with his confidence. I've been that's putting true. you on the wall for seven years. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or he may feel insecure about his sexual ability. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, because uh, maybe she mad because she ain't get his after he been in there for three and three and a half minutes. <laughs> Niggas trash. What? It's what I'm saying? He'd rather but get the head because he gonna last longer. Maybe they right. popping up like he used to. Maybe they ain't candy corn. Maybe it's a, a gummy worm. No, trolley worm. Maybe maybe he need a little pill. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's scared to. I, I'm I'm just saying this other. Yeah, I might need another person. There's avenues you need to oh. go down. <laughs> oh, y'all oh. might need a threesome. Uh oh. I'm just saying everybody's relationship different. I'm just but, throwing out all the possibilities. If she, if if she bring another dude, <laughs> hey, or, or you might but hey, need to butch. become a swinger. What, what we said, that, dude, name was Butch last. That's night. not hey, that's might, not hey. my problem. That's their problem. No, you might need to become swingers. You never know. He yeah, might hey. like it. Hey, mm. if he ain't satisfying you, hey, and 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 if he have a problem with that, then then, then you know. Hey, you marriage go. is a partnership, baby. That's real rap. 
Okay, last one of the day. Sure. What's good, Crew Season family? Happy belated Father's Day. Black Fathers is the key to fixing our culture and communities. Please keep doing what y'all been doing. Before I get into the question, oh, can you bless us with a these hoes ain't queens? These hoes ain't queens. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they come out of everywhere with these requests. Yes, <laughs> I love it. They say, uh, I got a few questions. One, do women hate to see other women succeed at love? Women praise each other for bossing up. However, quick to call them insta hole or not intelligent if they want to get a man's attention. Uh, number two, why women dislike men coaching simps to be more alpha? Number three, would changing the contract of marriage make men want to pursue it more? The current system is fucked up and seems to discourage men from trying to get married. Okay, so first one, I'm going to re-ask it number again. One, yeah. Do y'all feel like women hate on other women who succeed at love? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they want that position. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't say because they want their position. They just, they want- why are you happy? Why does, I feel like it's more, it's more so to do with the man, not the woman. It ain't about that. It ain't about To that. me. If you ask a woman, successful, not successful, in between being successful, you know what I'm saying? You can ask 100 of these women. Hey, would you be happy if you died alone? I guarantee you, eighty percent of the field will say hell no. It's ninety five. Not you know what I'm saying, and I'm being yeah. light on the eighty percent. Right. You get what I'm saying? So yes, they envy other people that be in love, bro, because it ain't enough niggas out there for them to fall in love with. A lot of times it be them. Exactly. Hey, how the hell did that correlation work right there, Matt? That is real. <laughs> a lot. If we if we if we was on the planet and they said, "Hey, every woman got to marry a dude," a lot of a lot of women wouldn't be married out here. Ain't enough of them. We dying too quick for them. Oh, so you saying it's not enough it's men? It's not that, enough as, men. Since there's not enough men, that's why they envy when somebody else got a man because yeah. mm-hmm. there's not enough. They took yeah. one away from them. Oh, because they yeah. didn't been they didn't oh, been through. Okay. So and then the many pool of men dudes. that they looking at, even right. even with the trash dudes, you take the trash dudes away. The, the pool of men that they looking at that's, that they want successful. I mean, let's say let's say mo- most women want a dude that's making sixty thousand. If we if you're being realistic, sixty thousand could take care of the household, two kids from a nigga, right? Most of them men are already off the table early before they early. get there. That's true. They off the table. A lot of them are. And the ones that's on the table that 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 is on the table, you competing now with a hundred million women that want this one dude. Mm-hmm. And he's playing the field. Only one of y'all could truly have him. Mm-hmm. One of y'all. So what's the question? Do they what? Uh, do women, women envy women who uh, succeed at love? So yes. No, I don't think so. They do. Next question. Why is that? Because <clears throat> um, I think women, women enjoy seeing love, especially black love. I think they enjoy seeing other women happy, <laughs> other black women happy in their relationships. Do, do, is jealousy there sometimes? I wouldn't even say jealousy. Envy. Envy is what it is. You say envy? Mm-hmm. Yep. If I'm going to be honest. Because I, I don't agree. have it. But, but, but look, though, it's not envy just for her being in a relationship. I feel like a lot of times, especially with a, a woman's friends, the envy comes from how the relationship changes her. Because mm-hmm. I've heard from women that when... Like when women get in a relationship, they become terrible friends. Yep. To they to the rest of their friends. Yep. Like because we didn't all been there. We didn't all been dating. Off. Right. We didn't all been dating a woman that's willing to cut off mm-hmm. all her friends just for her man. She only want to spend time with her man. Mm-hmm. Friend want to go do it. Nah, I'm cool. Me and my man doing this. Nah, I ain't going over there. Nah, I ain't going this. My man, me and my man, me and my man. So it, that drives a wedge in between them, and they feel like, damn, that nigga changed you that much, mm-hmm. really. So I, I feel like that's where a lot of the the envy comes from. Mm-hmm. What's the next question? And just just them just being happy. Period. I feel they not they want to be in a position that that other person in. They look happy. They haven't always been happy, and now they doing other things and extra things that they weren't doing before. Right. They play play into it. All right. Next question. Uh, why women dislike men who coach simp's to be more alpha? I don't know. I don't, why do women I dislike I men that coach simp's? Yeah, that coach simp's to be more alpha. I don't know. I don't never see it. I don't fuck with none of that anyway. So I don't because the simps are always paying for shit, and they trying to take they trying to take the the simps out the the tricks. They trying to take them out the game and oh, like and, and mess up they easy bags. Easy, right. Yeah, like, yeah. Taking away their food, man, or mm-hmm. they, you know their mm-hmm. trips. 
Because if he so, just nice, if he got it, he want to pay for it. Why don't yeah. why won't he? Why won't you just let him? Yeah. And sometimes he well, shit. Some, you messing up the bag. Right? Hell, that's I what I was about to say. <laughs> sometimes what? he need to wake up. He need to wake up. Like say, bro, you can do all that. You can get a lot of what you need without doing all that. Mm-hmm. And they don't realize that. But I would be so, mad too if, if I'm in the woman. <laughs> messing shoes, up your bag, bag. Messing up my bag. He want to do it. Hey, shoot, she want to give me some sex without me having to go anywhere. What? Why? Why would I want her friend to say, you know what, girl? He needs to take you out first before you give him that ass. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she know what she want. That's true, though. Yeah. That's well said. Last one. Would changing the contract of a marriage make men want to pursue it more? Because the current system is, quote unquote, fucked up. And it seems to discourage men from trying. Uh, I think the system is there. We just don't use it. Yeah. The, the system, system is there. You can prenup is there. Yep, you could put whatever you want into that clause. Got to pick your nuts up. That's what I feel. Yeah, um, I I would say yeah because again I I feel like um just the the general notion of marriage we say it all the time it got a negative connotation, and the reason we have is a negative connotation because a lot of men feel like we don't we have more to lose than we have to gain from being in it, because more times than not when you are dating that woman before you getting married you are getting ninety five percent of the benefits that you gonna get when you're married already before we even walk down the aisle. So right. it's like when I sign up for this, I have more to lose than I have to gain yeah. from what I'm already getting. Isn't there as much upside? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I feel like that's like the mindset of men. But if you change the terms of it, say, uh, you know, we got to re up every three years, every three years. If, if the, after the three year contract is up, we can walk away from this. No harm, no foul, no alimony, no nothing. If you want to walk away from it. Um, but you know, now, that's that's not the case. If you married to motherfucker, you married to him. If you divorce, if you may want to get it, she don't. Now you paying alimony, or you paying child support, or you get you you're getting penalized for it. But if it was a situation where they change, okay, look, every three to five years or three years, we're gonna come to the table. Hey, do you want to renew? Do you want to renew? Y'all both do. Okay, yes, we're gonna continue another three years or whatever the case may be. If you don't, you do. Okay, we gonna cut it off. No harm, no foul. Y'all y'all go y'all separate ways. I think if that was the case, more men would want to get married. But what, what's the notion? Okay, what if one side doesn't want to cut off, but the other side does? Mm. What's the? <laughs> no, no, that, right. What, 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 the, what I'm what I'm saying is it will work the same way. Say an uh, NBA or NFL contract is. After this three year contract is up, then we can renew it, or you can go find another team. But it's no harm, no foul. That we didn't already been paid. Everybody done got their benefit. Whatever the case may be, if anybody wants to walk away, now you can do it with no penalty. Right. Man, you got a business together, that you shit split would, down the middle. Right. Personal finances is personal finances. Right. That shit would ruin lives. I, I don't. I, 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 lives, I disagree. Bro. But they could re up every three years on a new with a new woman every three years. Why would they ruin lives? That's just like you marry for love, like deeply love. You should. Do you? you know what I'm saying yes. I think you do. I, I I personally feel like you marry that person because you love them deeply. Yeah. Okay. But, but marriage is a contract too. It is a con- it, it is a contract. But and if like you have a contract, you, there's end. there's other contracts marriage out there you can put into this business. If I if I could plan in three years to say, hey, I'm gonna do this, and then if shit start start going wrong in two and a half years, I'm not gonna work to fix. Let that. me tell you why marriage is business. In a half in a half year mark, I'm not gonna work to fix that because I know in, in in six months this shit's gonna be over with. You know why marriage is business? You get what I'm saying? I understand it's it? love, yeah, I, but overall, it is business. Because I'm not marrying no woman that I feel like not going to be a good mother in, in the longevity. I'm not marrying no woman that 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 I know I'm going to have to carry on taxes every year along with the kids. And you're it not going you're not going to love no woman that decision. you don't feel like that she can have your kids and <laughs> what? A lot of people love women that can't provide anything. Or men, or, or a lot of women love niggas that can't provide Anything like The trash. idea that, of them That, the that is very them. true That's not a good Business decision For both of y'all True That but, marriage is It shouldn't work But a lot of people <clears throat> Force that marriage On each other Right yeah. And then they wonder They be miserable Cause they struggling Like I said One my, party be up here And the other party Is trash You knew you shouldn't Have got here With this person Like I was saying My aunt She got married Because she said She felt that it was That's what she was Just supposed to do she was making more money than the dude. And she was in she didn't marry for love. She just she married because she felt like it was supposed to do, which is totally against what I just said. But it's a lot of people do that, though. 
I didn't say you married because it was something you're supposed to do. I said you married for love. Yeah, not you married you're for love. To do. They think it's but love. It's Some people think it's love. I don't. I don't go into a marriage saying, "Okay, I'll marry you because uh, I feel like I could benefit from you." But your idea of love like and somebody can. else's idea of love. I, is I, I, that's, that's true. That so is true. Like that could be framed in their idea of love. But you don't. Like, you don't say, "Okay, I, I'm gonna get married because I see you as my business partner." No. I ain't saying that. I, you get I married because it. I see the rest of my life with you. Whether whatever yeah. goes wrong, whatever this happens, I, of I see the rest of my life with you. Person, mm-hmm. And I'm, 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 I don't fact. see the I don't see the negative impact anywhere in in this marriage. No, I don't. No that's, flaws. That's, right. That's people. Do. I agree. I that's agree. People, they marry for love. They don't look at flaws. They don't mm-hmm. see no the flaws. They just marry because of love. You mm-hmm. feel like that's smart. I don't. I don't. I didn't say it was smart. I'm just oh, saying that's what we do. I just want to make sure. I'm just saying that's what we do. I'm listening. When we get married, we don't think about the negative side of it. But I mean, you have options. I just. I mean, I hear you, the three-year contract. I just think people wouldn't fight as hard for their <coughs> marriages if they knew they could re-up or end it in three years. But I, you know, bro, the, they the, would the, fight the, but No, they wouldn't. But if, look, though, look though, the, the, the other side of that is this. There are people in marriages right now 10, 15, 12 years in and feeling complacent because they feel like I got too much to lose to end this shit, so I would rather stay here and suffer. So it's, a, it's a, another side to it. There, there is but You're right as far as Like effort and input But it can also be seen Just like in the in the NBA When it's contract year Motherfucker step up His production Because I want to Renew this shit I want to get that Added benefit So I mean It's 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 two sides of it's Yeah two but sides. then you can you be can Like Carmelo yeah. that can perform But you're just old And you just don't perform Like you used to So I just want to be done with you After I spent all my life with you I don't grow business uh, with you And you don't perform That's that's like They, they do Uh Uh in the NFL, they get rid of all their top players because they don't want to pay them no okay, more because so they contract. They're right, still good performers. Down. They just worn down. That's what, why I don't. What if the contract is like this? All right, the three years, bam, and then once you at the renewal phase, it's a lifer. Then, you know what I'm saying? Instead of three year, three year, three years, three years, the first three years, first three years, and then like, and then after that, like, oh, no, because then people just don't perform for that's that three. That, that's that's, that's what I'm saying. That's why I say you got prenups oh, right there. That's why we we keep on throwing out prenups like it's not there to be out yeah, there. Yeah, but prenups don't uphold the whole marriage, though. It don't. But see, it, if they don't uphold for if you married for 20 years and after 20 years, then y'all decide y'all need to part separate ways. That's just what it is. But when you say yeah. three years, if you give me three years to be with somebody, and those three years and, and two and a half years, which most marriages in two and a half year mark, that's when the turmoil starts. Mm-hmm. And you so say, three is oh, and I got six months well, after that, well, and I can say, months. you know what, I'm tired. I'm, I just don't want to work. I don't want to do this. I don't see that wrong with that. That's what I was about to say. Is that, is that is that a it's wrong a, is it a thing? Forcing no, because a lot of people, people a lot of people, no, a lot of people give up on little shit. A lot of people in marriages argue over That's little true. shit that can they can fix out. But That's instead right. of us trying to fix that and knowing That's that we love this person for the little shit, we just gonna say, you know, would you say five years? But is that a long enough time? I would, if, it, I would, if it was on a contract basis, what would you say? I wouldn't. I wouldn't put a time limit on. It. That's why I say I, you got prenups there for people that that you don't perform, you don't do this, we don't we don't meet right here, we don't do this. This is how if you're worried about losing something, that's all we say about losing yeah, something. Losing. Your finances. If you're worried about losing your finances, put that in a prenup. If you're worried about losing your car, put that in your prenup. If you're worried about losing uh, kids house. later on down the on down the line or kids or a house, whatever you're worried about losing, put that in the contract and y'all agree to the terms of hey, this is how we can divvy out this type of situation if it ever comes up. Yeah, I forgot uh, that in that way of losing something. But other than that, I don't see why you would I feel you, you would make a contract for three years, you know what I'm saying? If y'all if y'all if y'all end on arguments and y'all just don't jail, you have the print up there, y'all have y'all sides, you get what you want that you were scared of losing, you gonna get that. But I you know what the reason is? you know what the reason is? The reason is is because if it was set up that way, uh, even for three years, we can say five. If it's set up in five, it takes the pressure off you having to have that hard conversation. And not only having that hard conversation, but when you sit a motherfucker down and say, hey, look, I want to have a prenup. That's going to, like, that's going to insinuate that, that there's trust a trust. It. Yeah, trust issue. Well, I, I feel like in the contract of five years, when that five year comes up, you still have to part ways. Y'all still have to separate stuff, right? But I think it's more mutual no. in that five. No, no, because no. you can renew and say we're gonna. That's okay, what I'm no, but what if y'all don't want to renew? So you no do harm, it. no foul. No, you but how, 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 how do y'all separate? How do y'all separate the stuff? If y'all the got contract a house is together, over. If y'all got a house together, if y'all have a house together, who separates what? I think that should that would be broken down. Y'all would broken down in the contract, right? Y'all would talk about it in the five years. Y'all would talk about it, right? What who would get what, right? But not every five, just one five year. Like, what would you do with a prenup? Talk about what you want when this ends. Yeah. If it ends, if five years, if this ends, this is what I want to separate. It's the same conversation. 
But the time he just put a time on it. Time and different. So why? There's no pressure. People put pressure on it because they're scared to. But this is your. That's that's the thing. This is your partner. If you were scared to have that hard conversation with your partner now about stuff that that you don't want to give up or that you you enjoy so much or you don't want to feel left out on, then I don't think that should be your partner. And if you can't be honest, open and honest about that. Okay. Well said. Well, right. would you, well should you have, yeah. should you have checkups or like a yearly review? Not, not, not yearly, but like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that is something that you should have a conversation I about. That. Say, baby, you've been lacking I or I've been lacking or whatever it is. Like, yes, that should come up. You should do that. So in your marriage how without, would you, how would without, you do that? Without a contract having to tell you to do that. That's all we say. Being open and honest with your partner when they start failing down. When you, when you see somebody in a year, in this year, y'all are talking, and you see them six months in the year, and you're like, damn, she's not being herself. What's, go- what's going on? I'm not going to wait till the end of the year and say, hey, you know what? I saw on, what's the six month? Uh, July, uh, June, mm-hmm. June, on June 5th, you weren't being yourself. I know it's, the, it's January. If you weren't being yourself this time. So I, you know what I'm saying? Why, why, would I, why would I do that? <laughs> I'm not, looking at you as, I'm, it, I'm not looking at you as I'm your supervisor. You are my wife. You know what? Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to But you are also drunk. my <laughs> But you are also my right hand. You are my right hand. So if you, if you are my right hand, if you down, if you down, you down I'm down. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to talk to you right then and there. I'm going to say, hey, what's what's going on? What's, what's You know what I'm saying? Why are we not, why are we not fucking like rabbits like we used to? Hey, nigga. Why are we not going out like we used to? What's nigga, the issue? Hey, niggas are being uh, caught with a big ass. I can't get back to the end of the year. Journaling everything. Everything should be like, well. No, 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 no. But, but. But look, what we're always saying is it would be a more structured, official type of thing. Sure, you can have that conversation. But we've all had that conversation before. Hey, look, you're not doing this. Or, hey, look, you're not doing that. How does that go? It do, It's not a productive thing. But if O's, if O's talking about what he's talking about is structured, it's like it's like at the job. You mm-hmm. have a review. Literally. You come in to the supervisor. Hey, on June 3rd, you was late. June 6th, you was late. June 7th, you was late. That's three lates. You know what our policy is. Your ass is out of here. Or you getting a rating of two. Instead of the right. five that we would give so you. So you don't get the promotion. You don't get the promotion the, because or, or, or this the, is why. Or, or the extra pay. You're going to stay where you at. It, You're not getting the extra bump. It ain't no argument. It ain't no, what well, well, you didn't. It ain't none of that. It's, <laughs> oh, oh, this oh, is what your oh, report oh, I know what it's says. About to be. It's going to be she an argument. come back with, oh, well, nigga. No, it's <laughs> well. <laughs> This cadre said you was gonna hit me for five minutes every night. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, do that. So we don't, if we don't make these papers disappear, you gonna disappear. <laughs> y'all, y'all know y'all ain't about to beat the woman in the petty game. Y'all know y'all oh. not about to do that. Y'all, we, we know we not about to do that. Welcome to pandering <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine a woman leveling up on a nigga, man, like the girl with the hundred, hundred thousand forty uh, racks, and we they in the contract? As no. soon as they get to the end, well, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you you thought you had some, baby. You just, you just wasn't, you wasn't, you know, we didn't, we ain't you sex. We only got three, only got three complaints, baby. He wasn't performing, and you went first. See, that's the problem. You went first. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Baby. Fuck that. I'm going last. I'm going she last. She's gonna say, well. <laughs> I will, <laughs> I will create some shit. If I, I'm gonna go last. I, 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 that time like, you big smash my socks. Man, you, know, uh, <laughs> you gotta come up with something. You wash my wife's with the, with <laughs> the dogs. <laughs> hey, as soon as she level up on your, I can't wait to that third year. It's over, nigga. Fact. It's over, nigga. That's fact. And I'm gonna be free, I'm be free on this market, Scott. Free. I ain't gotta give you nothing. Yeah. You know what? You can keep but this eyes. He would be. I think a dude would be I'm more buy understanding of that. Though. Taxes anyway. Yeah, a dude sure. would be more understanding of that. Structure. After he didn't bought that Louis bag, those three Louis bags in those three years, he and should be buying a Louis at forty. Not if you make it forty. He ain't making forty. Make it forty. He, ma- he making a forty good. buying a Louis. That's if crazy. He making forty buying a Louis. <laughs> <laughs> that contract <laughs> on him before then. <laughs> That nigga no, Pee Wee be the dog. Uh, look here, man. On that note, <laughs> Pee Wee, Pee Wee is in Why play. Pee Wee in this contract, <laughs> folks is in there. You know I mean? On that note, man, we gonna wrap this thing up, man. Y'all boys, shout out to our social medias and things of that nature. S M U V underscore underscore. So well, underscore fitness, all platforms. Y'all follow me, virtual sessions in person. I got a gym location I'm at now, Mo City. It's in Stafford. It's called Mo City Fitness. Mm. Um, holla at your boy, man. We about to really shake some shit up. You know what I'm saying? Get that built before we get our own shit. So, mm. congratulations. Appreciate it. No, oh, fuck you, Kenny. <laughs> See that? Fuck yeah. that. No, yeah, fuck that. Because you'll never show me no love. Fuck <laughs> that. Ask me how much love I show for you. Eat a dick. He do. He do, man. You don't tell me. 
I do tell you. You, you tell just don't B. listen. You tell no, B. I tell you. You just don't listen. Whatever. I Anyways, I love KT you underscore Goodrich. Uh, fuck so well fitness. I love you too. And, uh, <laughs> I love you too. So toxic ass relationship. <laughs> I can't wait for this contract. To end. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Detroit AC man everywhere. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Follow the crew season page. Shout out to our Patreon. It was first and foremost. Yeah. Yeah. Get the goddamn me jerseys. Yeah, man, we got new merch coming, man. The, the the jerseys are available. They are on the site. The shorts are coming very soon. Don't ask no questions. Yeah. Don't ask. Very soon. No questions. Matter of fact, just cut the check. Just give the money. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, nah. So the 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 shorts is gonna be on the website by tomorrow. But again, this was a sample. So we only have so many. It's only two X's and larges. If you don't wear two X's and large, I'm going to give you just a point of reference. I wear large, smooth wear two X. So that should tell you where you where's your body type at. And that should tell you. If your you thing at. hang like mine, you might want to get the three X. <laughs> three B. <medium. laughs> three M. Your shit hang like his. You want to <laughs> your shit hang like his, you want to wait on the extra small. <laughs> what I'm saying is this. You ever see three M's on the motherfuckers? <laughs> three <bus>? M's. <laughs> mm. Niggas put X. <laughs> nigga put mega <laughs> mega medium <laughs> man. Nigga put nigga put an XXS on that. No. You know what time it is. G. <laughs> extra, extra small. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my nigga. Uh, but yeah, oh, so shit. so I'm a, I'm gonna post them. But like I said, we only got larges and two X's right now. But if you if you were a different size of that, we all go put the um the the pre order link photos so you can order them. And then you know what I'm saying we gonna go back to the drawing board depending on what the demand is. We gonna get them made. Now from what I'm looking at, I've been getting comments and alerts and likes and pings all day long because I posted them earlier. It looks like y'all like them. You know what I'm saying? So, again, just let us know. If you outside of the 2X or the large, let us know. And then we're going to put the put the order in and make this shit happen. But, I mean, they dope. Smooth wearing them right now. You know what I'm saying? I got mine upstairs. Boys got theirs upstairs. So, we about to start, you know what I'm saying, rocking. I wanted to get a little photo shoot. I might have to hit Meg and see what she on. Get a little photo shoot going. But, um, but yeah, man. Uh, thought, thought summer, man. Shout out to the niggas that's out here uh, manipulating through telling the truth. <laughs> We out here. Just really quick, they told me a few women said that men showing their knees was equivalent to women showing their breasts. That is a blatant lie. I don't agree at all. They said it is, but the way, the way they interpret it. But anyways, it's a blatant lie. Um, but yeah. So uh, yeah, man, we appreciate all the support, man. We got more things coming. Again, it's something that I can't announce mm, that we've been working on. It's gonna be outside of the box. It's gonna catch y'all way off guard, but y'all gonna appreciate it. It's gonna be super, super dope when it touches down. Um. Limited supply. Limited supply. And when we able to share it to you, we will. Patreon, first and foremost, as always. Um, but, yeah, on that note, man, we're going to get up out of here. We're going to play a record from Meek Mill. It's called Flamers Flow. Wakanda for you. One sauce move, you a goner. We is messing up before Corona. Young nigga, hanging out the Bentley while I'm swinging around the corner. Paper tag, this is not a loner. Drug dealer, this one for the owners. This ain't for the leases. Time for a loafers, you can never tie my sneakers. Put her on the block list. I'm like Bob Felicia. I be on the island.